I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking, um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh you name it I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron but I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project so I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners. And I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and. I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Morning, good morning, good morning, morning. Uh, handbag making, no it's not handbag, but bag making spectacular. I uh, know it's handbags, handbags and bags and all sorts, six days. I uh, know, loads. There's Stuart. I uh, know, Elliot. Elliot's very, very excited. Uh, he does love an old bag, but we won't go any further. Right, shall we do the early bird then? <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. I just heard, I just realised what she said when I said Elliot likes an old bag. He said, Hannah said, she's, he's very keen on you, John. Right, what's this? H640, already cut, 9.99. Not 9.99 because it's our early bird. It's already cut. So if you buy five of these, you'll get five of these bags cut like this, right? What is H640? It's fusible fleece. One side has got glue on it, the other hasn't. You can iron it. Here we go, crashing the price. So it's normally 9.99 today until midnight, 7.99. 7 pounds and 99 pence. Now, I know it's not much to look at. But don't pick on it for that. I know, I know, I know. You get the whole piece for seven ninety nine. In fact, you're going to see this a lot over the next six days because it's used totally in bag making, isn't it? All the time. Seven ninety nine, seven pounds and ninety nine pence. Right, who's in? Let's have a look. Oh, Becky Allen's under frost. Uh, goof morning, she says. Goof morning. Uh, Leslie says good morning. Lynn says good morning. Stuart said, oh, a handbag. Yeah, like um, Oscar Wilde. Good morning, now my glasses are on. I can smell better, says Becky Alexander Frost. Cousin Susan says good morning. Patricia says good morning. Love you, John from Blackpool. Claire says good morning, John and all. Up, up and away, lovely shirt. Sue says morning, John, Catherine and team. Good morning, Sue. I know, not much to look at, just check it out. You just don't get what, Elliot? Okay, would you like a price comparison for exactly the same amount? On the Long River, uh, nine ninety six, nine pounds and ninety six pence. What you saying? Anyway, 
Yeah, you only get free delivery if you've got Prime. Jan says, good morning, lovely shirt. Good morning, John Scott and all says, Bernie. Laurie says, good morning, and tuning in. 7.99. I know it's H640, you can get H630. Yeah, I don't know if you can get H650. Never looked into that. I know, what else can I say? You need it, you need it if you're gonna make bags, that's all I'm saying. Good for, and I'll tell you what else it's good for. If you make a cushion, oh no cushions out today. If you make a cushion and you want to quilt it, it's nice to iron onto the back of the cushion front, then when you're quilting, it gives a lovely spongy bouncing because you've um, adhered it on. It doesn't move all over the place. Little purses. Uh, Hina says, good morning, John. Hope you're well. If you go onto Vaseline's website, it tells you how to use it, but apparently Hannah saying has got the instructions. Uh, there's no instructions on mine. Oh, that one might be the instructions, just very, very pale. There you go. Fiona says, morning, John from Almira in Spain. Oh, my word. Anne-Marie says, morning from Belfast. Kim says, good morning from a very dull Cheltenham. Oh, uh, well, Stuart said, does H640 leave dust on the table? I have a different brand. Same number that does. Well, no. No dust on my table, Stuart. No, we have it a lot, don't we? Uh, Suzanne says, good morning, team. Justine says, good morning from Luxembourg. Oh, it's very international in here today. Good morning, Sewing Street, says Anne. Another Anne says, good morning, one and all. Love your shirt. Looking forward to today's shows. Uh, oh, uh, Becky Alexander Frost has uh, replied to Stuart saying, no, Stuart. Princess says, good morning, Lynn Tewitt. I haven't seen Lynn Tewitt for ages. 7 99 No dust. No dust. Now, I'm going to put it back in the bag. Now, remember, it will go back. We're doing a six-day spectacular handbag spectacular, right? You will need this over the days, but it's only the early bird today. 7 99 Should be 9 99 Keep going through. Shanaz, good morning, my love. I know. What else can I tell you? Keep going through. Remember, once you've bought this, once you've checked out, that's your P&P paid for for the day, isn't it? Karen says, morning, John. I'm in Kent on holiday watching you. Uh, Kim Bauer said, I love H640. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The Vaseline uh, website is in German. You have to put translation on, apparently. Uh, 7 99 I'm just wiping the table now for Catherine because we haven't got... She's, she's got a lot to do today. She's on for three hours today. She'll be so grumpy by the end of it. You watch. By the end of Yarn Lane, she'll be slamming those dolls around. Anyway, I just have to clean the table. I've, I've just touched the table again, sorry. There you go. Do I need to get anything else out? Time machine. Yeah, I'm fine. Keep checking out. Keep checking out. Keep checking out. <laughs> I'm just helping Catherine by setting up. Oh. Whew. Message on my bottom. Good morning from a cold Devon, says Marilyn. Marilyn, is it cold here? No, it's not cold here. Wet. Started raining the minute I left Stratford this morning. It's very dark as well. In the next village, somebody had driven into one of the corners of the houses and the whole corner of their house had fallen down. Helen says, morning, John and team. Looking forward to a weekend of bag making. Uh, Pat says, good morning, John and team. Love your shirt. Suits you. Uh, Lynn to it says, oh no, hang on. Someone said it's fuzzy. Alison Marion says, I'm over here. I'm over on this side now. Don't go to me. Oh, I'm over here. Alison Marion says, is it my eyes or is sky fuzzy this morning? How much gin did you have last night? Um, it, oh, it's just your TV. It's all right. Michaela McCalla says, good morning, John and Catherine. So glad you woke up to wake up to your cheery face. Been in hospital another week. Oh, no. Another heart attack and another stent. So a week in bed recuperating. Sewing is off limits at the moment. Knitting to occupy myself. Thank heavens I've got Sewing Street to watch. We've got some lovely knitting in Yarn Lane today. Sorry, Catherine, I didn't finish doing the table for you, but you're all right, aren't you? I might as well just stay here now then. Oh, yeah, Catherine, that was in shock when you moved it, by the way. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. It's under the table now. 
<laughs> you're looking very lovely today. Your hair looks really lovely today. Yeah, I've got a new conditioner. Oh, is that what it is? Is it curly so. girl? It's gone, I don't know, it's just gone all made it go all smooth. Tresemme, because you're <laughs> worth it, Elliot says. I don't think Tresemme and because you're worth it go together, Elliot. Jill says, good morning, John. Love watching you on TV. You make things so much fun. Oh, I'm a grumpy old so-and-so in real life. You ask Catherine. Uh, right, anybody else got to mention? No, right, let's move on then. Let's do, we haven't even done the menu yet, have we? We've got to do the menu now. Oh, we're going to use that H640 in Catherine's demo later, apparently. Did you know that? No, she's not. <laughs> no, no. No, that, no, she didn't say it. She's 40. She said interfacing. In the clutch bag, I will. Oh, yeah, she will, yeah. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> Hannah. I was, well. <laughs> so Hannah's just saying, I did listen in prep today. I obviously wasn't. Shall we do the menu? Coming up, tweet bag with Catherine Wright. You didn't know that. That was a surprise that she was coming up, wasn't it? There it is. It's her very own pattern. Oh, no. Oh, I've been telling everyone it's your pattern. It's been designed by Hannah Harrison. Oh, sorry, Hannah Harrison. I do apologise. Nine o'clock, we've got fabulous fabrics ready for bag making. Then at 10 o'clock, we're making the Boo Clutch Bag with Catherine Knight. Uh, it's from a lovely book called Sew Bags. Is it called Sew Bags? Anyway, it's a lovely book. And we've got some stretch. Um, and we've got stretch. Velvet. Velvety velour coming up in that hour. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got bag hardware. And then at 12 o'clock, we run all the way to Yarn Lane Studios and we do topsy-turvy knitting dolls. Now, I've never seen these before. Not here. They're a thing. They're a thing, right? So you have like a Cinderella standing like that with a big frock on. And then you turn her inside out and there's another Cinderella in a ball gown. No. I'll try it later. I'll see what's inside. Yeah, that's why Hannah's got a dress on today. She's going to turn upside down. <laughs> no, don't do that, Hannah. Anyway, three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Come on, Elliot. There you go. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is by Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been reading out. Um, now, Princess says, are you all right this morning, John? Why, what's the matter? Princess, what's the matter? Of course I'm all right. Margaret says, good morning, John, Hannah, Elliot and Catherine. Blooming Facebook, playing up again. Take me nine attempts to log in. Oh, she's here now, though. I'm ready to go. What are we doing today? I've told you what we're doing today. Crazy Lorraine says, morning, John. Looking forward to today's show. Oh, well, a week doesn't go by without Crazy Lorraine making a bag. Having said that, she made a teddy bear yesterday. Rowalyn, morning, John. I love bag making, but no sewing for me at home suffering with COVID. Oh, no. Is that one of the symptoms? You can't sew. Oh, dear. Uh, anyway, you take care of yourself. Drink lots of water and have lots of cake. Uh, and then the third way, I'm Dr. Scott today. Then, oh, I'm bored with uh, Secret Life of the Zoo now. I've deleted them. Anyway, uh, then if you go to the website, you click on Watch the Show Live. To the right-hand side, there's a box saying, send the message to the studio. That's you, Hannah. Catherine or Catherine said, no, it's Catherine. It, have you, like, Claire, she's been on for... for Ages now, Catherine it is. It is all the A's. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah? they normally get it wrong here, you see. <laughs> uh, Jan's looking forward to all the bag making. Uh, my baby granddaughter Ivy has arrived, says Lorraine. I'm still doing these. And then uh, Derek says, good morning, Hannah, Elliot, Catherine and John. Love your nimble shirt. Up, up and away, my beautiful balloon. Elizabeth says, good morning. Right, so go back to the website. Put your message in there. Hello, I love you. Thank you. Then scroll down the page. And you'll see, well, there will be two columns. On the left-hand side, there will be a column saying show deals. That's everything we've shown so far. And on the right-hand side will be pre-order. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's everything that we've got for the next four hours. Now, handbag, 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 handbag. You can never have enough handbag, can you? Oh, now, there's your fabrics. Look, look at the one in the middle. Oh, I was about to say look at the one in the middle. Look, there's the handbag one. I love this one. We can't quite figure out why there's a peeled orange hanging from a tree. But apart from that, it's lovely, isn't it? Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. All these beautiful bag making uh, fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful. Chestnut, quilted. Beautiful. Goes on and on and on. Fabrics, fabrics, fabrics. Right, stop. There's the sewn bags book that we were talking about. And the platinum crushed velour. 
And it has got stretch in it, I need to tell you that now. It's not the solid one, it does have stretch in it. Make a little Santa outfit. What's well, no red, is there? That's wine. <laughs> Father Christmas does not wear wine. Baby blue, maybe. <gasps> Make a little, little kind of little... What's the word I'm looking for? Baby doll outfit. Yeah. Rabbit outfit. Anyway, and there's the uh, kits to make the bag. There's some stabiliser. Some PU. Then we've got an hour of... T oh, so I sold out already, that one. That one sold out already, look. I'm not going to say anything, because it's just... We can just look. Is it not a pumpkin? No, there's a pumpkin next to it, Justine. There's a pumpkin next to it. These are good where you get the class bin and everything. And your instructions. And Kath oh, actually, we could have found that out of Catherine's box. She's made that flying geese one before for us. More nickel rings. Nickel rings. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, I didn't see the zips. Anyway. Right, now, look, if you missed yesterday, we've got a few of the steam irons left because we had extra sent in. £50 off. The, oh, now, if you didn't watch yesterday's demonstration, we had two hours of professional, please, please, please go and watch George's demonstration of that. It's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. There's a few of those left. And then this straight stitch sewing machine that Gary did yesterday. We had Gary and George on for the last two hours yesterday. Please go, if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And get, oh, now, because what happened was during the show, the website died and nobody, you couldn't check out. So if you had any issues checking out yesterday, go and get it now and check out now. Right. So should we do something? Is that it? Don't finish. Catherine, uh, it's going to make a bag, right? So uh, the pattern is in each of the bundle. I'll do that one. But if you want the pattern on its own, not designed, as I've been telling everybody, by Catherine Harrison. But it is the Leicester Craft Centre, which is yours, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So she's one of your workers then? Yes, Hannah works with me. Yes. Oh, exclusive design. Uh, it's re we've done this before, haven't we? Yeah. And it's really, really, really popular. So that's the instructions on its own, £15 on the nose. Fabulous. It, now, it does come in the bundle. So if you're going to buy one of the bundles I'm about to show you, do not buy the pattern on its own because it comes in the bundle. Right, so this bundle here. Oh, did you work out the lining? Okay, so look, have a look here, right? This is the bundle that you get here. So you get your handles, you get your instructions, and you get this gorgeous fabric. You will need, now will they need half a metre for the lining or a metre? Really only half a metre for, for lining. For the lining, yeah. Yeah. This is lovely, isn't it? Now you see, as soon as Mark Francis sees something like this, he'd be making trousers out of them, wouldn't they? High-waisted trousers out of those. Wool. 39.99, you get a metre, oh, let me show you this, let me show you this actually, because you get a whole metre of this. Ooh, look. Now the reason you get a metre is for pattern matching, right? Things like that, <coughs> isn't it? But you'll have some of this left over, won't you? It's lovely, isn't it? Look. You need to have half a metre of your lining fabric. Yeah, yeah, you could use any of the, uh, well, you might have something at home already, or you might want to choose a lovely, um, one of our solids. Right, I, you, I can't sell you this fabric by the half metre because it's all in the bundle. I'll tidy that up in a second when Catherine starts. I'm not surprised, it's beautiful that one, isn't it? Now the handles are faux, that's 100% wool obviously, the, ha the handles are faux leather, and you might need, if you want to do a little, um, Clasp inside, I've got those. Oh, have I got those coming up? Because I saw it said sold out, I think, on the... We'll have a look, anyway. 39 99 for that. You're loving this. You're absolutely loving this. You're going to see that one being made in a second. Then, I've got this one here. Now, this is a bigger, bolder check, this one. Again, brand new fabric. Oh, now look at it on the other side. Oh, now can you see that, Elliot? It's check on that side, and it's like kind of diagonal stripes on that side. Now, I think this one's a mix. This one feels like a mix. Again, you get a metre of it. It's lovely, isn't it? But that one, you see, the reason you've got a metre is you've got to 
match those big bold checks in there, haven't you? You've got the instructions and you've got brown handles in this one. Again, faux leather. 90% wool, 10% polyamide. Oh, now that is definitely not herringbone. They've called it herringbone tweed reversible. It's definitely reversible, but I wouldn't call that herringbone, would you? The other no. one's herringbone. That, the next one I've got is called is herringbone, but that's not reversible. No, 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 it's definitely this one because it's the only reversible one I've got. But So that's that one. That's that one. $39.99. Then, I love this fabric. I love, love, love this fabric. So this one, again, you get the pattern. You get black faux handles on this one. And then you get this, this is herringbone, right? This one is definitely herringbone. This is herringbone, uh, uh, that's herringbone, the pattern. Now, this one's called Hunter's Tweed. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that, that's definitely, her oh, that's lovely. This is 100% wool, isn't it, this one? Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the pink stripe in there as well. So you get a metre of, oh! No, right, that's, that's really good. This feels like 100% wool. It's 70% wool, 30% polyester. And yet it feels like the most gorgeous wool. This one's the most limited. Oh, people have bought it on pre-order. People have bought that one on pre-order. So that's the one you get for that number, PJ6669. So you get a metre of that pattern and you get the faux hand. What a lovely, lovely, what a lovely way to start bag week. Um, I have got bosal here if you want to use some bosal. I've got single-sided and double-sided. Oh, single-sided sold out. Which number is that one then? That's that one. Oh, that's the one that we have to have on Sunday as well. <laughs> right, yo, then I've got double-sided bosal. When I say double-sided, it means it's adhesive on both sides. If you want to, you don't have to use it. You can use H6, um, you can use 505 spray or basting spray to, if you don't want to use the glue. Double-sided in white, 11.99. You get half a metre in there, but it is 60 inches wide. Oh, yes, right. Now, the H6, the, the, uh, this H640 is, a, is um, a fleece. This is a foam. This is... There'll be a lot of interfacings this week, I'm telling you, on handbag week. They called it white, it's cream, but it doesn't matter, you never see it. Good morning, John and Catherine. Just off to my first sewing workshop in months. Really looking forward to it. We'll catch up later, says Kath. Pauline says, hi, Catherine, me and my mum met you at Ali Pally on Sunday. Oh, that's nice. Michelle says, morning, John and Catherine. Lovely to see Catherine on Sunday, and thank you for posting the pattern. No problem at all. I, I met lots of lovely people. I know. It's I overwhelming, did. isn't it, when you suddenly have lots and lots of people come and say hello. Well, I've got to say, I've got to say hello to Michelle and Joy, who kept feeding us biscuits. Oh, yes. And Pauline and Lucy Lockett. They were the people I particularly remembered their names. Yeah, but there were, lots of, there were more than <laughs> four people. There were loads people. of lovely yeah. people that said hello. <laughs> there yes. were just four people. <laughs> Hunter's Tweed being the, the last one, the pink and, yeah, with the black handle. Single figures on that now. Single figures on that panel now, on that bundle now. Right, I've got the handles right on their own, and then we'll get on with some sewing. Which colour would you... The what? It is an important thing for bag making. Which colour would you like first? Uh, 8 99 faux leather, the not real leather. Go on then, Elliot, if you must. I don't own a handbag, not a single one, says Samantha. Donna says, good morning, John and Catherine. What, do you put everything in then, Samantha? Carrier bags? <laughs> backpack, backpack maybe. And then I've also got it in the brown. They do come in the bundles, but maybe you've got your own fabric and you're going to make the pattern. You just want to have the handles. What are you doing? Oh, no, that's not, no, that's not a question for me. Judith says, good morning. Right, shall we do some sewing? Catherine, sew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> morning, John. Good morning. Good morning. 
Okay, so um, I have cut out everything and prepped it, but I'll just give you a quick talk on a bit on how to do that. So you've got all the pattern pieces in the pattern and there are guidelines on it so that you can position it correctly on your tweed because you want to keep all your checks and lines going in the right direction and you want things to match up beautifully on the side. So oh, if you look at the sample, see. can you see they go, yeah. they go round and you want that to happen. So there are guidelines on your pattern to help you do that, a vertical one and a horizontal one. And that's why we say a metre of fabric because some tweeds have really big pattern repeats. Um, <clears throat> The ones in your bundles don't actually, and you may easily have enough fabric to cut out two bags. Oh, brilliant. Because they haven't got big pattern repeats. Even, so even, even the um, black, black one, I thought that one might be Yeah, good. possibly, yeah. possibly, yeah. Brilliant. So you get yourself all cut out, and you pop your interfacing on, and you pop your foam on. Now, there's actually a pattern piece for the foam that's slightly smaller right. than the bag front, because then you haven't got quite as much bulk in the sides. Perfect. So I've got that all prepped. Lovely. And be patient when you're ironing on your foam and you're interfacing. You want a really hot iron and a cloth. And it does it does say on the selvages of things like H640 how many seconds to hold your iron down for. Oh, yours might be a little bit <coughs> um, faint on the one we had. So I like guess. the interfacing says eight seconds. And when you when we iron, we often do this, don't we, quite yeah, quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you're doing this kind of thing, you've got to press and hold it so that it really adheres. Seconds. Yeah. So when you start constructing the bag, you are going to start by putting your side panels together. And as you can see, we want it to line up nicely on that check. Uh -huh. it, can I ask one, one quick question? Yes. So you've got the bosal on every piece, have you? I've got the bosal on all the outer pieces. Right. I've got bosal and interfacing. On the lining, I've just got interfacing. And that's the medium way iron on interfacing? It is. Yeah, perfect. Yes. So we're going to... It is, it is correct that there is this space here because this is for making the bottom of the bag. Perfect. So we're going to line up our checks and clip them together. And hope that, so it's a bit like when you're lining up patchwork, you need to just check you've got yourself all lined up nicely. Uh -huh. And clips are very good for bag making because you start to work with really thick things, don't you? And then what we need to do is we actually need to mark on one and a half centimetres from the bottom here because oh, now we're that not going to measure, sew. Just be careful, it doesn't start. I've at, just realised that. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> because most tape measures start at the metal disc. No, start but actually skin. that's quite useful because you can see the whole thing. Yes. Often you lose the first couple of centimetres. So I've just done a little mark on the edge there to show where I'm going to stop sewing. Yeah. Okay. We'll clip this one together at the same time and then we'll sew both those seams. Um, all our seam allowances are a centimetre, which usually or quite often is the edge of your machine foot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit handy. Bag making is a bit different, isn't it, to yeah. dressmaking and patchwork. And we teach this bag a lot as a beginner bag. So if you've not really dealt with hardware before or, you know, using lots of layers and foam, when we teach this in a class, we do it a lot as a beginner's one because it's uh -huh. not too hard. But if you are quite proficient bag maker, there's lots of room to add pockets and things like that on the inside if you want to. Lovely. Oh. Welch Mary, so let's send in a message. Oh, hang on, where is she? Uh, good morning, John and Catherine. Love the shirt, John. Brilliant bag and fabric. Looking forward to the demo. Always better when you're both flags. Oh, when you're both on, flag, <laughs> rainbow, heart. Got it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Welsh Mary. So I've got the walking foot on just to help with the layers. Uh-huh. And it doesn't matter if your foam catches in this seam particularly. It's just going to make it more secure. Um, I'm collecting, uh, where was it, Somerset set? I know that's what I was questioning, yeah, because, but you, if you buy the one that, I'll go through them again in a minute, but if you buy the one with the name, so the one that is actually a herringbone isn't called a herringbone, so the one that's in the moment is the green tweed, which is this, right? Then this one here, even though it's a herringbone, it's called 
Hunter Sweet, which I know is that pattern there, but this is what you will get. If you buy PJ6669, this is the fabric you will get. And if you buy, and I know that's not Hunter Tweed. I know that this is Hunter Tweed. <coughs> You'll get those handles as well. This one they've called Herringbone, right? But you will get this one if you order DT6650. I know it's confusing, but I do apologize. Right, what do you want to look in the instructions, Hannah? Oh yes, yeah, the instructions are fabulous. Look at this, look with it, with the pictures. Well, look, this is the bit we've just done. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look. Oh, no, hang on, there's another page. There's so... Oh, there, there it is, it's on the front. So that's what Catherine's just done. You see there with the, with the matching of the checks and everything. So if you look at this, there's so much. If you're a beginner, there is so much information and so many photos. It's really, really clearly explained, isn't it? Isn't isn't it? it? Oh, and yeah. I've got another page here. What's yeah. this one? That's instructions for single needle saddle stitch. Oh my word. That's so that's good. for stitching your handles Handle on. Handle on as well. Because you do those by hand. And then these were the patterns that uh, Catherine was talking about. And if you have a look. Look, so there you've got your guideline, your horizontal guideline and your vertical guideline to match up with your check so that you know you're going to get everything in the right place. And there's your fusible foam um, pattern as well. Sorry, Catherine, you carry on. No, you're, you're fine. So I'm going to just attach the other side. So we're making a big tube okay. of tweed. Let's just do a little mark. <laughs> so Han Hannah originally came to classes with me and then she came to so many classes that and that was in the craft centre such a lot she ended up working with oh. me. Because <laughs> that's what happens if you hang around too much. I'll give you a job to do. Not our Hannah. She said she's not Hannah who yet. designed the bag. Yeah. There we go. Samantha says she's not going to handbags because she's low maintenance. That means she has a carrier bag, doesn't it? Veronica says good morning. Good morning. Did you say there was another question? Sorry. Or am I, oh, am I hearing things? That was me. They've been very ageist in the gallery, so they've called me old several times today. Oh, don't worry, because who was on, who was I on with yesterday? Um... I don't know. Who were you on with yesterday? She called me old and fat. She called me old and fat yesterday. <laughs> oh no, it was Fiona Hesford. Fiona Hesford. Fat and old, she called me yesterday. <laughs> so when you've got Oh, it's you, made almost already. Well, you've got your shape of your bag here yeah. already. Yes. Yeah. So now we're going to pop the bottom bit together. Right. So again, we want to try and line up these um, our checks if we can. I can't see what I'm doing somehow. It's too early in the morning, my eyesight's not oh, working Oh no, do you want to buy my glasses? No. <laughs> I'm fine. So what are you matching? Just the so, bottom, across the bottom? So I'm matching across the bottom, this bottom seam. Right. And so you can see the shorter bit there is going to eventually make our box Oh, I see. Edge. It's just a different way so of doing a, a fabric, box. saving fabric, really? Well, well, it is saving yeah. fabric. Because normally you make it, then cut the square Sometimes out. you cut it out, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you sew across. And snip a bit off, don't you? There's lots of ways of doing boxed corners. Right. Okay. So we're going to come across. Now you do find as it starts to get bigger and thicker, you're wrestling it under your machine a little bit. So just, you know, be firm with it and squash it down. Got our, our bottom seam, and it would be good to press that open. I've got 
a little, a little iron, just because then it will be nice and flat. So whatever you do on this outside of the bag, you're going to do the same for your lining. Uh -huh. Leaving a little gap to turn it through. On the lining, yeah. Yes. I'm notoriously good at forgetting to do that. Oh. <laughs> I nearly always have to unpick a little <laughs> hole. <laughs> Which doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now we're going to get our boxed corners. And because we've left, we didn't sew right to the bottom, yeah. it just helps it squidge down. Brilliant. Um, and it should have a slight, can you see there's like a slight little curve, uh -huh. which is fine. So we'll just clip those in place. Line them up. Carol says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Carol. So have you got another, have you got to, when's your next uh, exhibition or event that you're going to? I, I'm going to do the Creative Craft Show at the NEC. Oh, when's that? 4th of November. Spending my wedding anniversary there, John. Nice. Because <laughs> I know how to show my husband a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. I've never heard of that one. Um, is that well, rather than all sewing, it's all It's all sorts crafts. of crafts, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, I think there is sewing and fabric there as well, but yeah, yeah. All, all sorts of crafts too. So we're doing quite a lot of workshops there. Brilliant. Um, but not sewing -y ones. No. What, so you're doing like your silversmithing ones and things like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So. Nice. Yes, and, and then, then that's another, the last one another, this year. Isn't there another um, knitting and stitching? There is, that's in Harrogate. We're not, I'm not going to Harrogate, oh, okay. it's a bit far. Yeah, it's nice yes. though in Harrogate. I'm sure it is. I might go and visit yeah. and just go, as a, as, a, as a guest, is yeah, that? Yeah, because I never get to go no, and, and just enjoy them. Yeah. Although I have to say, even at the one in London, even though I was busy and on my stand, I still managed to do some shopping. Oh, pff, of course. <laughs> okay, let's squidge that down so you can see. So we're just going to run across the bottom here. Yeah, so, so Hannah's going to walk across the front, so I need you to switch this box off, please. Thank you. No, I was in the box. Okay, I'm out the box now. You don't have to bend down now. Though. Thank you. Bye. 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 <coughs> uh, Sue says, lovely top, Catherine. I recognise the fabric. It might be in my stash. Do you recognise recognize the fabric? fabric as well, yeah, yeah, I sat in the green, I think the green room and bought it in the back one day when it was like a clearance <laughs> one. <laughs> definitely, nice. you, definitely you were showing it, John, yes. and I was like, oh, I like that. I only finished it last night. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bernie says I'm off to the stitching show in Glasgow today. I didn't know there was one in Glasgow either, Bernie. There is actually, yeah. Pauline says good morning. They're all back with a vengeance, and yeah. it's really nice, actually. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. I haven't been to one yet, but yes, they're all back with a vengeance. Right, let's turn this round to show you. Alice has got looking. a question. It's about what, hang on, we'll say, hi, team, great demo, silly question. No such thing as a silly question. That's not made bags before. Would you need to change the needle in the machine, says Alison in Berkshire. Uh, well, if you've not changed it for quite a long time, yes. Yes. If you're using very heavy-duty fabrics, <coughs> you could put a, a more heavy-duty needle in as well. But with this, these walls... But these aren't particularly. No. I mean, they're coping, the machine's coping with it fine. That hasn't got a new needle in. No, definitely <laughs> hasn't got a new needle in. <laughs> OK, so we've got our lovely box shape with our tweed. Hopefully, you can see all going round really nicely. Brilliant. Yes. OK, we're going to put, I'm going to show you how to put the feet on. Right. Oh, no, I haven't sold any feet yet. So let me show you the feet I've got available. They are optional. You don't have to put them on, but, oh, they, no, are but, nice, I, but oh. they are really nice to do. You can see that we've got them on a... But, but also, if you put it down on a wet surface, yeah. just having these tiny little feet on Makes just all the stops difference. it sitting in the water. And, I mean, it? this is wool. This is 100% wool. You don't really want to get it soaking no, wet, do you? No. What? Which one's first? Black one's first. 
You get four in a packet. One ninety-nine. Add it to your order. So that's the black one there. Pauline says she wishes she'd go to more shows. Glennie says good morning. Pauline says feet are a great idea for a bag like this. They are indeed. I've also got the silver ones, the nickel ones here. One ninety-nine. Okay. So let's see, Catherine, you putting those on. Right. So um, you want to do a little bit of reinforcement. Right with them just so that they're nice and strong so I'm going to just interface a little bit of fabric what's that are you just showing us on a piece of fabric or so so I'm making some little sort of um, reinforcement pieces oh okay these are going to go on the inside so I've just cut some pieces oh, of interfacing okay. and a bit of your scrap fabric and I'm just going to iron them on so same with your magnetic snaps you yes. want to just add a little reinforcement so that they stay strong and they don't tear your your fabric, you're out of fabric. Yeah, and if they open the bag like the way Elliot opens the bag, <laughs> the way he just yanked at the bow bag earlier. <laughs> That's would have to have words. <laughs> so. He's gone all quiet now. <laughs> I'm trying not to glue the iron mat. Yes, ironing mat. Mind. <laughs> that one, we're nearly in need of a new one of those, Elliot, look. Well, they, they, they discolour quite quickly, don't yeah. they? It's just how it is. Well, they get used every single day, don't they? Absolutely. That's designed They're to put the things of... upside down and get gun call over it. The old deep side from Elliot. And then you've got in your in your bag in your <clears throat> base. I can't think what they're called. Base feet. Your little feet. feet. Yes. If you mark a little, you've got these little sort of washers. Yeah, that's the word. Thank you. And they've got little holes, so you can just draw on to show where they're going to go. Well, Jan Hill's just woken up. Good morning, John and Catherine. I forgot to wake her up at eight o'clock this morning. I oh, know, my rubbish alarm clock. Okay. And then you can just snip these little marks with either a nice sharp pair of scissors or you can do it with your unpicker whichever yeah. way you like because that's where the prongs of your bag feet are going to go through are the bag feet mentioned in the instructions yes all this that i am explaining to you they're all in the instructions with pictures lovely so, so if you want the instructions on their own it's 15 pounds so the bag feet, the snap, the handles, ev everything's explained in, in great detail. Have you photocopied them to bigger writing? No, what though? happened was, what happened was, John, I got home yesterday. As you know, I've been quite busy. Yeah. I got home yesterday, I got everything prepped, and I got home and went, oh, I've left the pattern at the craft centre. Oh. Have I got to drive back to the craft centre? And then I went, no, I've got the instructions on my laptop. I'll just print myself oh, a copy okay, that's out. Oh, well, <laughs> So that's why. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you can use this washer as well to mark on the base of your bag where you want your feet to be. Now, we haven't given you particular measurements because, in a way, you kind of want to use your check to help you get it right. Mm -hmm. You Quite often, the pattern of your fabric will sort of show you where you need to put them. And if you measure one, then you can um, <clears throat> then measure the others. Okay. So... Again, we're just going to put a little bit of a, a little mark. Is my friction pen showing up? Not really. Can you see it? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's just press on a bit press harder. harder. Put a book inside. Let's just flatten it down a bit. There we go. Let's try it. That's better. Oh. That's it, we can see that. You can see that. Excellent. So you slightly open these. Okay. Yeah. Now we've got to really carefully make some little slits in the base of our bags as well. And right. I'm just thinking I'll use an unpicker for that. Rather... I've, have you got one? I have got okay, one. I've got about 22 in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sylv says, morning, lovelies. Hold still, please, until I'm ready to watch. Oh, Sylv, you'll have to watch on catch up. You've missed 45 minutes already. So just going to really carefully make a little hole. So be very happy that you've got your happy, you know, where you're happy where they're going to be yeah. before you make your hole in this when you've sewn it beautifully. And don't make the hole too big. Just be make it a literally. Yeah, because you can see the bottom of the bag feet. They're quite sm They're not massive. The prongs are yeah. they? I can't get my. That's that's it. I've opened that one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to push that through that hole there. Yeah. Oh, hang on, we've lost you. That's it. Perfect. There we go. One's gone in and one hasn't. Well, while you're doing that, let's have a look at a picture of somebody. Uh, we've got one that's made. Oh, how lovely. Here's a photo of the bag of made. So easy to what? make. Instructions very clear from Jane Gorgeous. in Edinburgh. That's fabric. beautiful fabric, that, isn't it? So you get your pattern, you can do your own fabric, can't you? There's the pattern, £15. Just, um, you got the pattern, just make, make them for all your friends. Because you can get the handles, you can get the feet. That's yeah, I've got a lady at the craft centre who made them all last year for her friends. Oh, really? So th yeah. So there we go. I've popped the prongs through the little holes there. Yeah. And then on the inside... <coughs> Let's see if I can get it so you can see. On the inside, we're then going to put our little reinforced thing we've made over the top. If I can find it. Well, when you've cut, yeah. Uh, well, I did cut them all, didn't I? Oh, did you? Yes, I did cut those ones. <laughs> That's it. Lovely. And then you wash her. Hopefully you can all see that. Yeah. Yeah. And then just press those down like that. Brilliant. Okay. And you're going to put the other ones on in the same way. Yeah. And they, they are smart. They, yeah, they're no, well no. worth they it, the, aren't they? They make the bag look kind of professional and finished, don't they? So. Yeah. I think so. So I, I, I possibly didn't make that look very easy, but <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is easy. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, so you put your four feet on, then what do you do next? Okay, so then once you've got your shape and you've got your four feet like that, you can move on to your lining and <coughs> we can put our magnetic clasp on. Right, now, have I got these magnetic clasps for sale? Oh, we've got them under several codes, that's why it said sold out on the website earlier. I don't know if this up. These are the silver ones. <coughs> I've got gold coming up later. Two nine. They're not real gold, obviously. Two ninety nine, just for one of magnetic clasp. And to put that on, it's the same sort of idea. Same idea. Feet, so it? with your lining, before before you put your lining all together, I found the centre of it, and I've marked four centimetres down from the top. Right. And same idea. You can use your little washer to mark where it's going to go and we'll just do a tiny little snip and your lining has got uh, interface medium weight interfacing on it it has it? yes there is a when you do bag making, there is an awful lot of there's a lot of prep yes sometimes it takes as long to cut it all out and get it all everything ironed on and how you want it to be Different. as as the actual construction yeah so you push your clasp through pop the little washer on there now do you need to put a would you put um a reinforcement on that one as i well? would yeah. i would then now iron on a little bit of extra interfacing oh, okay, like that, I see. over the top and you can put a little bit of extra fabric on as well yeah. if you want to okay i've got a question for you Okay, hang on. Lovely tweed bags. Is the pattern reusable in other fabrics? Well, you could make it in anything you wanted, really. I think, you? yeah. 
I, I would look lovely in denim. I was about to say that. I'm very fond of cor a corduroy bag. Yeah. That would be really nice. I'm seeing pink I think, corduroy. Um, yeah, cotton canvas is nice. Yeah. I would choose something a little bit heavier weight. Yeah, don't just use normal. I don't think I'd use normal cotton, cotton no. no. But yeah, go for it, actually. Yeah. I think it'd be really in nice. In fact, in the next hour, we've got lots of fabric so you could use it. <coughs> and tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, <laughs> and the next day, and the next day. Because we're doing a bag making extravaganza for six days. We love a bag. So we'll just pop on the other side and then we can put our lining together. Yeah. I do like corduroy. I made my daughter a corduroy bag. You made what, sorry? My daughter a corduroy oh. bag for college because she couldn't find one she liked. So she let she her up. Starting college now? Though. Well, sixth form. <gasps> sixth oh. form college, yeah. And you've got you to look right for that, John. Oh, yeah, totally. It's just, you start wearing your own, like, at oh, my yeah. school, you start wearing your own clothes oh, yeah. and your personality yeah. now shows you're not in the uniform. Yeah. It's costing me a fortune. I bet. <laughs> Are there, rule, are there still rules about what they can and can't wear? They just have to look appropriate. As I so, no, not, you know, not too revealing and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. But, but no, jeans, they can so. wear, yes. I mean, her main outfit is jeans and trainers and yeah. a variety of different oh. hoodies, really. And corduroy bags. And corduroy bags. Okay, so we're going to pop the linings together, the lining together just the same. Okay. Remembering to keep a little bit open on the side. Uh-huh. Oh, too. So she's ordered the pattern. She's got some tapestry fabric. That would be nice. Fingers crossed I have enough to make the bag. Yeah, but what you could do with tapestry is if you haven't got enough, you could do the two fronts in tapestry and do the sides in something else, maybe. If you haven't got enough to do the whole bag. That is true. Just thinking aloud. Well, there's all sorts of... What is the name of that colour of the lining, please? Sage. Sage. Rebecca sage, Alexander Frost. Said. Sage. I haven't got it here. Uh, and again, remember to leave the sort of the one and a half just to help you do that boxing. I yeah. haven't measured it on this. I'm going to do it by eye. When's Becky, Becky Alexander Frost in? She's in on... Hang on, what day does it say? I've got a feeling she's in next week. It's on, it's on the website. Sage's on the website. She's on what day? Oh, there it is. Tuesday. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, she's here in the bag making extravaganza, right? Becky Alexander Frost, bag designer. She's making a teddy bear and she's doing a sewing machine show. <laughs> Just so. We mix it up a bit. Uh, Violet says, can I ask what machine this is? It seems to be coping with the bolt without any problem. Also, what size needles to buy? Right, it's a 580. The walking foot is on it. That's why it's working even better. And uh, what size need would you say? About a 14? 12? Or are you doing big numbers? Yeah, 80 or 90. 80 or 90. There you go. And uh, Claire says, would African wax uh, cotton be thick Ooh, enough? Oh, that would be, be very nice. nice. Don't wash it, though. Use it with the dressing in. But make sure you do put the bosal and the interfacing on it. Yeah. That would look very really funky. Nice, yeah. Oh, there's so many nice fabrics out there. I know. You're giving me good ideas. Was um, a darku at the um, yeah. yeah? She's got some lovely fabrics. Hasn't she, she does. Saw loads of people off the sewing bee. Do what? Lo loads of people who'd been on the sewing oh, bee. Oh yeah, oh yes, I saw all the pictures. Mark flooded the uh, social media with all the pictures. <coughs> we did lift sharing with Jen Hogg because she was staying in our hotel. Oh. <laughs> um, what are you saying, Hannah? Becky's bear is adorable and easy to make, says Lynn Tewitt. Oh, you're one step ahead of everybody else. Isn't it the um isn't it a robo robotic one though? Doesn't it move? That sounds a bit wrong. fancy. I might have it wrong. <laughs> it's called Maisie anyway, after Vix's little girl. And she's got to and we had the Maisie pattern yesterday. 
uh, with Fiona Hester, which was named after her friend Maisie and baby Maisie, and she made a baby version. Well, I say baby, four-year-old version. Small. But we don't know what she did with it. I'm supposed to be dropping it off. And we can't find it anywhere. So, same on the, the bottom. Maybe that bottom seam. <clears throat> Don't forget to leave a hole. I've, I've left the hole. Oh, okay. I did that first. Okay, good. I find if I have to leave a little gap in my pins or my clips to remind me. I would put a double pin. Yeah. And then you get to you get, oh, why have I put two pins in here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, just so you know, lots of people are pre-ordering the fabric hour fabrics in my next hour. Leave me something to show. Oh, Lynn, Lynn's one of Becky Alexander Frost's testers. Oh. It's a teddy bear. We'll talk about the teddy bear now. What are you trying to say, Han? You went, um... I think we need to redress that panel behind Catherine's head. It's looking very um, empty. It is a bit, isn't it? And you usually books. have a lovely quilt up there, you see. Yeah, and there's usually books in the book section. Oh, I can't... Let me get my, my fingers... Come on, hurry up. I know, I know. Minute. I was just wanted to sh explain how to just put the lining and the bag together. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get complaints now. Oh, uh, Claire double pins gaps as well. You see, that's the best way to do it, because you get to the double pin thing. Why have I done that? Morning, Catherine. Lovely to see you, says Annabelle. Morning, Annabelle. Annabelle comes to one of my classes. Oh, does she? Yes, she's into bag making. Oh. Annabelle, have you made one of these? I don't think she has, actually. I don't know why not. I know, she, I know why, actually. She makes teeny tiny bags. What, for teeny tiny bags? Just people? like really small little handbags. Oh. Like, I always, I always like a big bag because I carry yes, around you can so, carry so much, much junk. stuff with you, yeah. Yeah. Like 27 seam rippers and, you know, the latest bit of knitting and stuff. Uh huh. But Annabelle likes very small little bags. She just carries her credit card and keys, you know. That's all you need if you've got other people to carry things. Catherine's top is roses and recipes. The fabric has got... It's not... We haven't got it in stock at the moment. Oh, and what pattern have you made it from? Now, I did look. Simplicity 8840, I think it was. Because oh. I knew someone would ask. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lots of people have been asking about your top. So I think it's Simplicity 8840. It's got a really nice little pleat design yeah, across nice. the front, hasn't it? Yeah. It was an, a really nice, quick make as well. I was going to well. say, it looks quite a simple, no offence. No, it, it like was. Make. And I, I um, the pattern wanted you to put a zip in the back, which I, I can't then be doing it up very easily. So I just um, just did a buttonhole back. Have you got a key, a key, a little yeah. keyhole back? Yeah, you can still get it on and off your yeah. head then. I can only do quick makes at the moment. Yeah. Yes. I worked out the other day, John, I've got seven unfinished quilts. Oh. Seven unfinished quilts. And are any of them got to be read? No, they're all, they're all ones supposed to be finished for Christmas, aren't they? Yes. I've got to get a, a wriggle on, haven't I? Think I think you might. <laughs> Have okay. you made the French general one, Eric? It wants to know. Have you finished the French general <laughs> one? I haven't finished any of them. <laughs> right, terrible. okay. Okay, so you get to this point. You've made a lining and you've made your bag. Yeah. Now, you will have hand-stitched your straps on at this point yeah. as well. Um, and there's instructions in there your instructions. There are separate to instructions to do that. And so your bag goes right inside. And you're going to clip round the top. And just make sure those, um, the seams are, are open. And they or should, hopefully, if you've done it nice and accurately, Hopefully, all match all the way round. Perfect. Got a question for you. Yeah. Hi, guys. Can you tell me the size in inches? I was wondering if you could fit an A4 book in the bag. I hope you don't mind. Christine, there's no, no such question. thing as a silly question. Let's have a little measure, shall we? It is... 
it's 11 inches tall and 11 and a half inches wide. Oh, you'll fit an A4 book in there, won't you? It's quite a good size. Yeah. yeah. I haven't got one here. Well, think. look, my, my pieces of paper oh, are Oh, yes, we've got pieces of paper that are A4. And they fit, look, they fit in That's easily, A4. my A4 pieces. So. That's not A4. Give that to me. It's slightly smaller than Thank A4, you. although it's again, it fits beautifully. Yes, but does the A4 fit in? Yeah, look, because yes, well? it does. I know there's only a few sheets there, but yeah, yeah. no problem at Thank all. You. Right, what were you going to say about the line before we finish? And then, um, so Thank you, Hannah, though, for bringing that out. Clip all around the top, lining up your seams, stitch all around the top, and then you're going to pull it all through the your side, hole. through the lining hole. You push your lining back down inside and yeah. on our sample you can see we've then top stitched round the edge just to give it extra, extra security. Brilliant. You'll need your walking foot for that, definitely. Yes. Right, thank Catherine's back in an hour where she's making, oh this, she's making that in an hour's time. But we have velour, stretch velour to do that. Right, quick recap of the bundles, the one that Catherine's just made for you here. You do get the pattern, you do get the faux leather handles and you get a metre of the wool. You need to supply your own lining. Beautiful, 39.99. Then now, ignore the writing on this because they've called this one herringbone, but if you order the number that's there, this is what you get. So, you get a metre of the fabric. So if you do DT6650, this is the one you will get, even though it says herringbone. It's not herringbone. So you get the handles brown and you get the pattern, 39.99. And then last but not least, my favourite, which is the herringbone. But if you order this number, this is what you will get. PJ6669, you get the pattern. You get the faux leather black handles and you get a metre of the herringbone. Beautiful. 39.99. Would you like me to recap anything else? No, thank you. Uh, after the break, it's me doing fabulous fabrics for handbag making. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished designer secret. 
So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas Cal fun. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Before I start on all these gorgeous... I looked a bit shocked then, didn't I? Before I start on all these lovely fabrics, which a lot of going already, by the way, pre-order's been very busy this morning, I need to talk to you about yesterday's blind hem machine. Uh, please go to YouTube and what, it was at 12 o'clock, it was the first thing we did. No, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock yesterday. Yeah, 11 o'clock yesterday, George from Franklin's. He did a brilliant, 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 brilliant demonstration on them, right? We sold out and, and then Franklin's got us some more. What I need to tell you is that on Monday, any that we haven't sold have to go back to Franklin's because we took other people's stock for our show. So it could be, it's, it's not a negative thing. What it is, is because obviously Gary said just did didn't he, about still having issues with delivery and things like that. So they were good enough to give us more stock because we sold more than they imagined we would do yesterday. They gave us, well, they gave us 15 more, didn't they, right? They gave us 15 extra. Of that 15, there are only eight of the extra ones left. Whatever's not sold by Monday morning have to go back. Well, they don't physically go back. They're already in the warehouse there. But they will take those away from us and give them to their other suppliers to sell. So if you're thinking about the blind hemming machine, it's the most fantastic, fantastic machine. £579. You can get it on split pay. £193 three ways. Be paid for by Christmas. You, you go and watch. Go and watch George doing it because... I'll be honest, at the beginning of the show, I thought, oh, a couple of these will go. But so many of those machines went yesterday. There's only eight left now. And if those eight, what are left of those eight on Sun or Monday morning will be taken from us because Franklin's want to give them to their other suppliers. That's how it works at the moment. And also, don't forget, you get, you get the magnetic light, which isn't on that picture, and you get four reels of the super fine thread that you have to use. The light was gorgeous. I was going to nick the light for me. Oh, and also if Gary and George are watching, you took ours with you. They brought one with them. So they arrived with one and went home with two. So they've actually got our sample. So I can't actually show you the physical machine because Gary or George has nicked it. There you go. Called Tony. 
What tone? Right. Oh, and they both did that at the shipping in the shows. I went, hello, hello. They went, all right, all right, mate, all right, mate, all right, mate. Oh, and funny, we were only telling the story about when I did that with a guest. Turned on the telly the other day, he was on a different channel. But he's kind of grown his hair a bit weird. No, I'd have made him have his hair cut before he came on. He's got chunked up a bit as well. Right, OK, shall we get on? Because it's Fabulous Fabrics now. I just had to tell you about that before we started. Keep going through for it if you want it. Say that again. Good morning to you both. Enjoyed the tutorial. Beautiful bag. Ordered the... What's the germ check? Kathleen, is that something Scottish? Do you think it means green? Do you think it means green? Anyway, I've got sanitizer. Germ check. And also I've got the one that works now. The other day I did that and it went everywhere, didn't it? Right, are we ready? I bought... Oh, Alison Marion. I bought the Hemmer John. Who knew it existed? I wasn't going to say I was going to have your customer anonymity, but I did read on Facebook that you'd bought one last night. That's Alison Marion, Marion Alison, by the way. But except that, she had another machine delivered to her house yesterday. Oh, no, she's mad. Oh, yeah, she went to Liberty. She went to Liberty, didn't she, when she was in London? Was that her birthday treat? When was her birthday? Did we miss her birthday and we didn't make her a cake or anything? When was your birthday, Alison Mary and Marion Alison? Oh, was it last year's during lockdown and it was de deferred? Anyway, let's move on. Right, ooh, 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 ooh. Right, we, we can indeed. We can indeed, we can indeed. Here we go, this is gorgeous. This is your tapestry fabric. Imagine that one that Catherine's just done made out of this. Five ninety nine for half a metre. It's wide. Look at the back as well, though. Look at the back. And look how wide it is. Oh, it goes. Look. 55 inches wide. Isn't it lovely? Now, you're buying this off the roll. So if you want a metre, you get a metre. Just order two units. Five ninety nine. Very, very, very popular on pre-order, this one. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. It's a tapestry fabric, so I think it's, and now, we have two tapestries. One's 80-20 and one's 100%. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It's lovely, isn't it? Look the lovely handbags. Half the stock is gone. Half the stock is gone already. It's brand new today, that one. Beautiful, isn't it? Five ninety nine for half a metre. Uh, we're launching the six day bag event, um, and what a way to start! Catherine's bag, and now this. Which is your favourite? That one. That one. Hannah likes that one, and Hannah likes the red one. Oh, that one. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Keep checking out, keep checking out. It'll all sell. This will sell out today. Are you having coffee delivered to the... Are you delivering coffee, Jess? I'll have a soya vanilla latte, please, and a cinnamon swirl. Thank you. That's posh, isn't it? Look, they're having coffee delivered to the gallery. Yeah. Right, yo. I'll come back. I'll come back to that one if I need to in a minute. Can I do the roses version? Oh, this is going to sell out. But it can't because we've got it on uh, 8 o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> By the half metre, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it might be in a kit, did you say? Is that what you said tomorrow? Okay, th this is meant to be in the 8 o'clock show tomorrow morning. Every, well, how, how much is the stock today? Right, the stock we've got for today is about to go. Are we about to sell tomorrow's stock then? We're just having a look now. 5 99 for half a metre. Again, it's wide, it's wide, it's wide, it's wide. So we can't dip into that then. 
Oh, okay, right, okay. We If this sells out today and you miss out, I've definitely got some locked in to 8 o'clock show tomorrow morning. I can't sell tomorrow's today. So if you miss out now, I've got some of this at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's all right. Now, hang on. So is today's stock gone? Right, today's stock is gone. Please tune in at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you like that tapestry fabric, we've got that again at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right, the other tapestry. Oh, I thought I'd... Oh, yeah. The Buddha Chi, the Tree of Life. This one's not new. We've had this one before. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, we might not have had it at Sewing Street. It's brand new here. I had this at, when I had my show at Crafters. What's it? Yeah. It's lovely though, isn't it? Beautiful. Five ninety nine for half meter Tree of Life cream tapestry eighty twenty. I know it's not no loose stitches on the back. Normally on a tapestry, you'd have all loose stitches at the back, wouldn't you? It's lovely though, isn't it? Oh, you're seeing footstool. I'm seeing piano stool. Not that I've got a piano. I love a piano stool, the way it lifts up and you keep all your music in the seat. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. The tree of life. That's five ninety nine for half a meter. You can buy as much of it as you want. Comes off the bolt. At five ninety nine. Five ninety nine for half a meter. Right, I'm gonna go on to cotton canvases now. Oh, they're all lovely. They're all beautiful. Anyone in particular have well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Another. No, these are cotton canvases. I finished with the. I finished with the. Um, this one. No, oh, this is beautiful. This is cotton. Now, is it cotton canvas? We'll just check. Beautiful, soft canvas. First time we've had this one, Botanical Garden. Could you make curtains with the tapestry fabric? Princess, princess, no, no. This again is 80-20, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It's not tapestry, this is your cotton canvas, this one. Cotton mix canvas. Oh, oh I love that. You see, I'm seeing a sofa cover. Hannah's seeing a backpack. Elliot seeing, he's seeing a bacon roll followed by a big mug of black coffee followed by a, what's that sweet thing you always eat? Yum yum. It's got what, sorry? Yeah, there's, there's the William Morris snake's head there. I think it's multi-directional this. Well, that's because it's called Botanical Gardens. Roller blind would be lovely in this. Liz, we've had a lovely email from Liz. She just got a, oh, it's gone. Her Moda scrap bundle. Amazing, she says, amazing. Oh, hang on. Hayley, the boss is in now. Announcement. Okay, I'm just listening into conversation, so that's why I've gone quiet. I've just explained to everybody that if we don't, they don't buy those last eight hemmers, they're going to go. That's why I just checked. Yeah, thank you. No need to check. You've got a professional on board today. <laughs> oh, except, yeah. So yesterday, yesterday we had two hours of professional. This is a professional show, right, with Gary and George, right? So today's just amateur. We're just amateurs today. Oh, hang on. Let's just have a conversation. George was good, wasn't he? 
A lot of the ladies thought George was 18. He's actually in his late 20s. And we had lots of messages like Laurie and lots princess and lots of people going, hello, George. And then Laurie said if she was 20 years younger, I think you have to take a few more years off, Laurie. (laughs) Anyway, he's lovely, wasn't he? Drives a Mercedes, lives with his mum and dad. Got all the information for you, ladies. 5.99. Oh, Marina's got to go to work. She says, stop showing such beautiful fabrics. They're lovely, aren't they, Marina? You're going to love, Marina, you're going to love the next ones, the next couple as well. Right, so it's 5 99 for half a metre. Love that, botanical. Now, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Oh, did you not want to go to that one, sorry? Oh, okay. Don't, not this one, Marina. Not this one. Peacock feathers, five ninety nine for half a metre. Why? What's she upset about? No, no, it's right, because I just said to Marina, I'll do it now for you now. And then you went, we're going to peacock feathers. That was all. She was thinking about George. She hasn't met George. 5 99 for half a metre. Isn't that lovely? I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the feather. Oh, lovely. It's nice and 55 inches wide. 8 cent. Cotton, 20 cent polyester. <laughs> well, you don't get many of them in your village, do you? If you go to Rithin Castle, they're walking around. They're walking around. We've got some in our village. Okay, in Hannah's village, which is quite industrial, they have a farm now. Oh, yes, no animals in it. Uh, Becky Alexander Foster said, I'm going to have to go back and watch George. I had to go out in that hour to see what all the fuss is about. Uh, about the man and the machine. Uh, Becky Ellis and Foss. Well, I suppose you're married to a boy, aren't you? He's like a boy. Georgina says, morning, John and team. This fabric is so lovely, isn't it? They all are, aren't they? Beautiful fabrics. No, I think I'm going to go on to quilt. Yeah. Marina, I'm doing it now so you can go to work. It was Hannah that held you up. It comes in the black background and the natural coloured background. Oh, yeah, it is a pumpkin, isn't it? That's a pumpkin. But, hang on, I'll let Elliot just come onto the the fabric. This is called fruit, (laughs) fruitful natural, right. But that's a pumpkin, right? (coughs) But what's that one? (coughs) Or is it an nasturtium flower? It's a nasturtium, no, no, because they're not nasturtium leaves. So this is how tangerines grow on trees and blueberries. Yeah, okay, that, that's out of a tin, Hannah. Sir. I haven't had mandarin or tangerines out of a tin for years. Anyway, they're blueberries. What do you think they are then? That's blueberry. No, because they've got the little thingy things on the end, whereas those haven't. Hannah's already eaten all her blueberries for her lunch, and she's eaten her lunch already at 20 past nine. Will you be going to Greg's then at lunchtime for... um, What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. Oh, yeah, no, you've got to have something to eat for then. I go, Marina says it's fabulous. Marina also comes with a black background as well. Look in a minute. Yes. I had to go on Tuesday. It was the only appointment. Well, so I've just explained, right? I had, my, I had my sewing machine serviced. They rang me while I was on my holiday saying it's ready. No, shall we start? I suggest. And they messaged me saying it's ready. So you have to make an appointment to go and get it. So I rang up and they said, the only time you can come is Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. And thought, well, I can't have coffee with Hannah because she's in here on Tuesday. So I'll just go and do it. First of all, <clears throat> I was fine traffic-wise till I got to, Hannah, well, I got to Joy's house. You know where Joy lives, at Maypole. 
Solid traffic all the way, all the way down. Why have they taken away all the parking in your village? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they're going to try and make a traffic free neighbourhood. I don't know how. I don't know how because they... Anyway, luckily, the shop I was getting my thing serviced had a car park. So I rang the doorbell. I rang the doorbell. I rang the doorbell. And then eventually somebody came to the door and she said, yes. I said, I've got an appointment at 10 o'clock. She went, have you? I was the only person in the shop, right? So I went and she said, what would you like? And I said, come to collect my sewing machine. And she was like, oh, all right then. What name is it? What, what sewing machine is it? And I was like, oh, okay, so I could have come later on when Hannah was here, but never mind. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on from that one, Five ninety nine. <clears throat> oh, collect your said Kate, love the fruit fabric. My grand always had tin mandarins after Sunday tea. Well, that's northern, isn't it? Northwestern. Um, how's your 570A? Okay, how is it? How are you doing with it? Right. Wait till you see this one. Oh, actually, do you know what? Oh, well, I like them both as much. I like them both as much. I am loving the hot air balloon, says Margaret. Thank you. We haven't got any hot air balloon fabric. It's just me. <coughs> You'd like what, Sohan? A duffel bag. Hannah would like a duffel bag made out of this one. Maybe, maybe in the next few days we'll make a duffel bag. Who knows? What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? Five ninety nine. That's what a, a bag extravaganza is, Elliot. We do bags. Except Beck Ellis on the frost, who's doing a teddy bear. Who's known for her bags, yeah? <laughs> <coughs> Hannah would like a holiday bag. You can't, I'm sorry, I've got a bit throaty. <coughs> can't speak throaty. You can't have a holiday and go to university and work. And go to weddings. <coughs> she, love, she went to a lovely wedding at the weekend. I'd forgotten it was Friday, you see. It feels like Tuesday to me. Right, so where would you like to go next, then? OK, I've got a bag rolled up inside it with no code on. Oh, no, no, BMLJ86. <coughs> they called it what? OK, this is not sequin PU. The sequin PU is exactly the same as this, but it has a little sequin in each corner. No, they're not. No, they're not circles, Hannah. They're squares. It's crosshatch. They do do one like this, because I only know this, because Crazy Lane bought some from us from Sewing Quarter, which was exactly the same as this, but it had little sequins on. Yours hasn't got sequins on it. But it's very wide. Look. Have you got that, Elliot? Look. Okay, so it's 45% polyester, uh, 55 PU. Shine. No, is that wrong? Say it again then. 50% PU, 45% polyester. And 5% polypropylene. I wonder what that is. I think they might be the sequins that aren't there. Oh, no, hang on. Becky Alexander is doing a bag on Tuesday. No, she said the fabric will look ace with the bag I'm doing on Tuesday. Right, Becky Alexander, we think you're doing a teddy bear and a sewing machine hour. Oh, no. Am I in on Tuesday? I want to keep it. Oh no, it's Vix. It's Vix on Tuesday. Because the teddy bear is called Maisie. Okay, so when's she doing a sewing machine hour then? Is that another hour? She's doing three hours. Becky Alexander Foss doing three hours on um, Tuesday. Do you know that, Becky Alexander Foss? Oh yeah, I'm doing three hours, she says. Oh, get you. Right, okay, that goes in there. I don't know why whoever unpacked this. Cat. Let's put the bag in there, but never mind. 
Oh, another nice message here. Love, 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 my 578. I could hear your voice in my head when I was trying out the stitches and the thread cutter is a revelation. Oh, Kate, sorry about that. Maybe they should do a sewing machine with me where you press a button and I say something. You know like the dolls where you pull a string out the back and it goes, take me home. Um, I want to, oh, well, I was going to say wee wee then. I don't mean to, <laughs> I want a bath or whatever they say. You can have a sewing machine where you press your button and you go, come on now, press the reverse button. And it's me. Oh, I'll, put, I'll patent that idea. What's next? Navy vinyl. Right, now I've never seen this before. These are brand new for the bag making event. Now this is what, I have to tell you, this is what Gary always brings with him. To just, so if you watch his sewing machine show yesterday, this is the vinyl that he used on that. So this is 4 99 for half a meter. It looks like it's 55 inches wide. It's a beautiful color, navy. And I'm presuming it's 100%, oh, I don't know, hang on. You, what? Not you, PVC, that's a window, isn't it? PVC. My new front door's this color. Yeah? It's not got the wrinkles in it, I don't think. Oh, but did I tell you? Did I tell you, Hannah? <laughs> I can make a matching bag to my front door. Um, I rang them the other day and said, oh, it's 12 weeks today. Any news on my door? And they went, let me just check. We'll call you back. And they rang back and went, should be with you by Christmas. <laughs> I was like, oh, OK. No, no, I've still got a door there. I haven't taken the old one away, but so it's not going to be ready till... Well, they said they'll be arriving in the warehouse on December the 8th. And I said, oh, the week after, I'll take a few days off when you come to fit it. And they went, I wouldn't do that, Mr Scott. Oh, Hannah, you and little Paul are like. Little Paul brought all these pictures in of his new carpet. We haven't seen Hannah's new carpet. What, uh, what, where do you have a carpet fitted then, Hannah? Um, oh, I've got, I've got to get a new stair carpet as well. Four nights time. Oh, listen, I started ripping my, my stair carpet up 10 years ago and I still haven't. But anyway, four nights time, it's lovely that, isn't it? Beautiful, gorgeous colour. Right, so that's your blue. Where are we going to next then? Oh, Carol. I mean, this week, uh, what, what day is it? Saturday and Sunday. And then I, th I think I'm only in Friday. Can you look? I think it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday next week, isn't it? I think it's just Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week. No, might be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ooh, I'll have a look. Only Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm not in Thursday. So I've only got three days next week. Three days. Right, moving on then. Are you sure? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll sort it out. Chestnut. Oh, yeah, yeah, chestnut. Yeah, they, I was about to say it looks like a handbag. But you know what I mean? It's like, like kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say um, battered. That's the, Hannah, that's the Hannah description. Aged. Distressed. Harvey will appreciate the new stair carpet. Harvey's going home on Sunday. Yeah, going home on Sunday. Four ninety nine. It's lovely colour, isn't it? Message from Elizabeth here. Hi John, I'm all. If I'm ordering one meter, will it come as one piece? Yes. So you order two units, which is one piece, and it gets cut off the roll for you, and it'll come as one piece. Doesn't come in two pieces. Uh, some of them, like when, like the H640, but we will state if that's the case. This, though, is fabric off the roll. So if you ordered six metres, you get a six metre piece. Four ninety nine for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? I bet this is really lovely to work with, actually. Nice, isn't it? Lovely colour. Imagine that with making a handbag as well. That's a lovely. Do you know what? Like, um, you know, your travel bag would be nice in that, wouldn't it? The travel bag that you like. Right, next colour. Dark grey or mid grey, this one. Does it finish? Uh, yeah, that's all. Steel. This one's called Steel. I'd have to team that with a lovely, with a lovely colour. Hang on, someone else is coming in now. Oh, here we go. 
In, out, in, out. Four ninety nine. Vinyl steel fabric. It's vinyl, the colour is steel, it's not made of steel. At four pounds and ninety nine pence. It's lovely, isn't it? Shake it all about. Right, why is, why is Princess said shake it all about? What have we said? Wrong what? What's she watching? Shake it all about. Susan said, good morning, John and everyone. I'm so late. I had my grandson yesterday. Wore, wore me out, but it was fun. Now I've got a beautiful granddaughter born yesterday morning. Oh, Susan. 4 99 Just getting the creases out there for you. Well, I think, no, I think you might. Somebody's asked, how do I get the creases out of it? These creases don't come out of it. They're part of the fabric. These here, I think you can either just hang it up overnight and they'll drop out. But I think you can put a cloth on the back. You put a pressing cloth on the back and iron from the back, I think you'd be fine. Always test your fabric. Uh, she, what's everybody watching? Sheila's saying, I can see a nice shirt for you out of this. Skirt! Oh, no, got it now. Sorry, Sheila, read it completely wrong. A lovely skirt for you, not a shirt for me. You've yeah, got it now, got it now. And then Princess says, you said in, out, in, out. Oh, I did, I did. In, out, in, out, in, out. I did, I did, I did. Sheila, make a lovely skirt. Jan, I've got it now. Oh, someone's ringing me. 0247, Coventry. Oh, it's one of those cold calling numbers. I won't touch it. No, it's no friend of mine. It's the one of those cold calling numbers. Dark red next. Oh, I've only got one red, so it must be this one. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely, isn't it? It's got, look at that distress. Yeah, little Paul wants Chesterfield sofa made out of this. Won't go with his new carpet, though. Might go with his Game of Thrones dining room. Isn't it lovely? Susan said, isn't that beautiful? Isn't it? I love this. Look, so I can't, you see, it's slightly different distressed all over this one. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I'm seeing this is a lovely skirt. Or a bag, obviously, because we're doing bag making week. Right, next colour. Cerise. Oh, well, I wouldn't call it Cerise, personally. Uh, can I just say the PU has a Tim Holtz distressed feel? You mean this vinyl? Yeah, it does. This vinyl does, definitely. Can, Becky Alexander Frost, can you iron it? How do you get the creases out? Uh, um, this, is, this feels more structured than the PU, this one. Um, but I would say this is bubble gum rather than cerise, personally. Four ninety nine. This is the vinyl. They've called it cerise. I'd call it bubble gum. Four ninety nine. Right. Let's move on to the next one then. That's right. And it's just displaying some more things from our bag making week. Oh, there she is. Hannah, where's your mask? <laughs> no, it's all right. She's miles away. It's fine. Oh, that one's staying there. Oh, it's going on here. Is that okay? 
That's good. Go. Go and change to the next one then. What colour are we going to next, Elliot? Yeah, which colour are you going to? Light blue. Light blue. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. That's taking, well, not taking me back to the 60s, <coughs> but I'd imagine it was very, very popular in the 1960s. Isn't it lovely? Final baby blue, that one's called. Um, oh, here you go. Becky Allen's under frost. She has low heat from the back. If it's got a cloth backing, you... Uh, yeah, look, it's got a cloth backing, but I still use a pressing cloth. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, John. I don't mean to moan, but when the colours on the website... When will the colours on the website match the true colours? Oh, who's in charge of that now? I think it's Barry, the book buyer. I'll sort that out, don't worry. At 4 99 He's not in. Oh, he wasn't in when I went through earlier. Oh, he's on holiday. Where's he gone? What colour next? Yellow. I love this one. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so Elliot would make a fireman's outfit. I think you might, be, oh, you could make a rain mat. It might be a bit heavy, a rain mat. You could make a sou'wester. Hat. Four ninety nine for half a metre. I think that that's glorious yellow, isn't it? That one, custard yellow. They do a Nissan Duke in this colour, don't they? Oh, now I spoke to my accountant yesterday. He tells me I've got to buy a posher car. Yeah. Yeah. Elliot, that's so funny. Well, Elliot's in a funny mood today, Becky Ellis. Are you in on Tuesday when Becky Ellis is in? He is, he is. He'll wear it for you on Tuesday, he says. And he'll do the dance routine to go with. You've got what? You, did you have enough fabric? Okay, so Alison Mary and Marion Alison has made gold hot pants for Elliot. This all goes on when I'm not here, doesn't it? Have you got them on now? Oh. Are they in your drawer? Four ninety nine. Oh, Elliot says he'll wear them for you on Tuesday, uh, Becky Alexander Frost. And then he'll come on air and show everybody. Message from Julie. Can you please tell me the composition of both the PU and the vinyl? Is the vinyl sticky like it used to be? It's definitely not sticky. It's definitely not sticky. So the composition of the PU was 50% PU, 45% polyester, and 5% polyamide or something like that. That was that one. The other PU's got coming up a different because they're like a very fine one. But the vinyl is just 100% PVC. It's not sticky. And if you watch Gary's show yesterday, it's so easy to sew through. So easy to sew through. Well, I, I think Gary just said yesterday, just make sure, you, make sure you use a sharp needle. Don't use a leather needle. Just use a sharp needle. And, oh, and if you're going to use the extra thick thread, then you need to use a top stitch needle or uh, one with the, with, with the uh, bigger hole in it. Right. Purple or cream? Purple. It's a very soft purple, this one. Oh, that's nice. Now, on my telly, that looks blue. It's definitely, definitely purple. Oh, Alice and Marion's laughing. Becky Alexander Frost smoke. Uh, Alison Marion says, John, you really don't want to see the hot pants. 
Have you seen them on, Alison Marion? Did he send you a picture? Oh, she's making a calendar with it on, apparently, next year. Elliot in his hot pants. <clears throat> so a friend of mine called Donna, Donna who I used to live with when I lived in New York, she was from South London and we both worked in New York together. I'll just tell you this story please. Okay, so, and um, I made, when our friend Meredith got married, Donna was like her, not bridesmaid, but like best woman sort of thing. So I made her this beautiful like kind of dress. Anyway, that's, that was in 1988, right? Now, now, this year, Donna's daughter is getting married next year and she's asked me to do her, we her dress for the, for the wedding as mother of the bride dress. So I said, that's fine, let's meet. And she went, no, we can't meet yet. And I said, why not? She said, I've just joined a gym and I've got to go absolutely full on it. I'll ring you in two months' time. <laughs> so we're not doing anything about it just yet. How lovely, though, that I did her dress for Meredith's wedding in 1988, 89. And now, um, and now I'm doing her for her daughter's wedding. Right, and I've got one more of those vinyls, one more vinyl, in the kind of natural, what's it called? Oh, stone, they've called it. Patsy Stone, 49. That's a quote from Ab Fab, by the way. John, you've answered my wonderings, thank you. What about Elliot in his hot pants? Or about the vinyl? He's going to wear them. What day, Elliot? Oh, it, oh, it has to be late at night. After the watershed, because they're a little bit revealing. Oh, not on telly, not on telly. He's just, just going to come in and show Hannah. Hannah saying she hasn't got a sick bucket big enough. Right, OK, now, I've got other PUs now. We'll just look at the table, shall we, Elliot? Got other PUs. He's getting carried away now, thinking of showing himself off in those uh, little shorts. It'd be like, because Kylie Minogue's leaving now. She's going back to Australia, isn't she? She's moved. The removal men were there yesterday. So there's room for you to wear your little gold hot pants here. Right, OK, now this PU is completely different. This PU feels like fabric. What's the, what's the, um, what's the, co uh, what's the composition of this, please? I've got the champagne, finishes um, 17. Yeah, that's the one. So this is PU quilted fabric in champagne. Now, it's obviously got the polyester on the back, but this feels like a fabric. Right, so 45% polyester, 5% spandex, and 50% PU it'll be then. Oh, hang on. Okay, so hang on, say that again. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it's not PU at all. It's not PU whatsoever. It's beautiful though. This will be easier to work with as well. No. No. These, like, you can make a lovely bomber jacket out of these. Look, it's stretch as well. If you use it to make handbags, I'd definitely back it with uh, interfacing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, to bag designers. Oh, yeah. All, well, nearly every designer, a bag designer we know, backs everything. Becky Alice, Becky Alice and Frost backs everything, doesn't she? Oh, here you go. My advice when using this fabric is to interface it. There you go. What did I just say? What did I just say? Interface this, says Becky Alexander Frost. Because Becky Alexander Frost, it's like um, a stretch fabric, Becky. It's like a stretch fabric, isn't it? It's like a fabric rather than a PU, this one. But beautiful. I know I've used this in one of Becky's um, backpack um, thingies, haven't we? Anyway, that's the Champagne. Okay. Loads of you coming in for that. I will recap any of these you want me to afterwards. Then I've also got it in, I've got it in three colours. So I'll do silver next. Silver. Yeah, she used it on the Queenie bags. She did indeed. What's the matter, Han? 
This is the most popular on pre-order. At 4.49. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's lovely. Next. Rose is the next one. Oh, now I think, oh, this one, this one's also on, on Saturday at eight o'clock as well. Lots of bag making in the six day bag making extravaganza. <clears throat> 4.49. It's very pretty that one, isn't it? Lovely blush color that one. Glasses, cases, be nice. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Oh, right, okay, yes. She said, uh, right, okay, so Hannah said iPad or tablet cover. I immediately saw those things you go to bed in at night time and my pills by my bed. I haven't got pills by the bed. John, isn't Jackie Collins an old friend of yours documentary? I know, I know. I think it's already been on because um, Joe Carter messaged me the other day saying, oh, there's just been a Jackie Collins thing on. Uh, um, Margaret told me about it. It's tonight, nine o'clock tonight. I'll be in bed. I won't be in it. Nobody came to interview me on it. I've been asked to do a documentary about a TV presenter just recently and I said no. And they haven't got back. Well, not they have to get back to me, but they didn't reply. I didn't, they said they were going to, I'm not going to tell you who it's about, but they said it was going to be a nice, caring one. I thought, no, it's not. It's not. Here you go. White. Oh, ivory. Ivory. Well, ivory. I, I'd say, I know this is called ivory, but I'd say that was bright white myself, personally. Personally. It says it's new, John. Oh, okay. What the Jackie Collins thing? I wonder what. Um, I wonder what. Unless Joe had preview, a preview of it. So Hannah, did you ever finish watching Married at First Sight? Oh, it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. Well, I kind of always start watching it, thinking, oh, I'm not going to invest any time in these people, and then of course you just end up desperate to know what happened to them all. But then one, I won't give anything away, but one of the couples that were together at the final reunion have now split up because ha um, Hayley follows them. <laughs> Hayley follows all of them. The Hayley big boss Hayley, yeah. Right, do you say a picture after PU? Picture, please. Hi, John and team. Look at my bag to go to university. This is a Lisa Lamb pattern from Valerie. Valerie, we've got that fabric. That's lovely. Hang on. So, hi, John and team. Look at my, look at my bag. I think that's supposed to say not back to go to uni. What are you doing at uni, Lee? Uh, not Lisa, Valerie. What are you doing at uni? Oh, it's lovely. Here's that fabric. Is there any left? We've got a Lisa Lamb book tomorrow, and Lisa Lamb herself is in on November the seventh. Little bit of that are still available. Now, I'm going to do a few uh, solids now, just to, uh, till the end of the show. One of which, because Becky Alexander Frost loved it, and we've got it here now. Sage in the cotton. Right, remember in the first hour that when um, Catherine Wright used this to line her tweed bag, it doesn't come in the bundle, you need to... Now, we said half a metre. On the pattern, it says a metre. So just to be on the safe side, I'd buy a meter of it. Just to be on the safe side. This is just your, this is our core Rose and Hubble, hundred percent cotton, quilted weight, fabric in sage. Would it work with what? D. 
It looks nice with all of those, doesn't it? Just say, just say it. I've got other colours as well. You don't, if you don't like green or don't like sage, I've got other colours. But as a lovely, I think that's a new colour sage, isn't it, that we've got in that collection. Raspberry, ending 24. Yeah. You see, I wouldn't say that was raspberry. If you had raspberries in your fridge, you wouldn't eat them, would they? If they were that colour. Yeah, it's nice to see these fabrics by the half metre because normally we just go, exactly. Now remember, you buy these off the bolt. You buy it off the bolt. Normally you see the colours off the, off the website. And as Anne said, uh, the colours aren't brilliant on the website, are they? Beautiful. Remember, we don't charge extra P and P as well. Um, if you buy, add something to your order now, or whatever. Right next, cream. Well, it's more like a seeded caramelly latte colour. Oh, nude. Look, I'm nude. Well, I'm not because I'm much browner than that at the moment. Aren't I tell that still. Oh. See, the trouble is, it comes off your face, doesn't it? Really quickly, but it doesn't come off your tummy. 3.49. Who was it came in the other day and I said, oh, you look so well. You've been on old dish. It's out of a bottle. All my brain, all my days all muddled together at the moment. Oh, it's Fiona Hesford. Because I thought she lives in Brighton or down the south coast. She'd be on the beach every day. She now does that um, wild, not wild women, swimming. Wild swimming she does. Is it wild swimming? Wild sea swimming? Yes. And she doesn't wear a wetsuit. £3.49. Oh, I, see, I thought you meant now. I was going to say, you be careful going wild. Um, they'll get the, you know, NSPCC in. No, not the NSPCC. RSPCA in. Thinking there was a beached whale in Brighton. Next. Peacock. £3.49. <laughs> I only say it because I love him. It's not his fault he's fat. <laughs> oh, actually, yes, we, we, he accidentally bumped into me this morning. He's got a very firm bottom. <laughs> but the love handles are full of love. Three pounds. It's because he's contented. That's why he loves his home life. He loves his job. He loves his life, you see. Three pounds 49. Peacock, this one. <laughs> I can't tell you what his girlfriend said about him this week, though. <laughs> right, I've got three colours left. Which colour? Red, scarlet. Here you go. It's a nice bright red. No. <laughs> £3.49. John, that just means you don't... You don't wash your belly as much as you wash your face. Sylve... No, it doesn't. It means that this is open to the elements all day, every day, whereas this isn't. 349. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Got to go. I've got two more to do, and then Catherine will be back with us. Uh, I've got orange and I've got wine or Bordeaux or something like that. Okay, I don't know why that's there then. Oh, can you hear? What's all that shouting? Who was shouting then? Was it just, I don't know. £3.49. Oh, Catherine opened the door and it was Hayley making a lot of noise. £3.49. £3.49 for half a metre. Right, I've got to go for a break. Catherine's up after break. She's making this. But she's making it in stretchy velour. There it is in PU. Oh, we've got PU coming up in the next hour, actually, I think, haven't we? Uh, so don't go anywhere. Catherine Knight will be here in four minutes from now.
know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi everyone, I'm Eval Makatamne. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here. So most of my time is uh, Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics and we are on the last row of Village Street. This time we've got a row of stars across the top, uh, two different styles, but the interesting thing is the combination of colour that we've used across here and how we've put the different stars together. In the package, this final package that you will receive, you'll also receive instructions as to how to put the quilt together and the binding. So I do hope you've been keeping up and that you're anxiously awaiting the last uh, package to come through your door. Um, I thank you for letting me join you in your, uh, your living room and uh, I do hope that you are enjoying and learning through this very enjoyable project. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Apparently... I'm back now. That was Elliot trying to shut me up. Apparently it smells like a zoo in the gallery, Hannah says. It's because of Elliot's got his old cheap trainers on and they stink today. Right, I've just got to, very quickly, before I do this, sorry, Catherine, I've just got to talk to you about the Hemmer machine because more have checked out. Now, remember, if we have, the ones we haven't sold by the end of the weekend have to go back to Franklin's. Right, OK, so I've now got five left. I've got five left now. That's it. I'll just be honest with you. £579, if you want it, you can get it on split pay. Please, 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 not during Catherine's hour now, but go and watch George from Franklin's doing his demonstration at 11 o'clock yesterday on the YouTube because it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I didn't even know these machines existed. It does blind hemming like you have never, ever seen before. You get £66 worth of gifts with it as well. You get a, a magnetic lamp, which can go anywhere, as long as you've got something mag metal to put it on, and uh, you get your thin threads that you need for it. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm just after keeping you updated, because at the end of t Sunday, what hasn't sold, Monday morning, what hasn't sold here goes back to Franklin's because they've got other suppliers who want them. Just so you know. Right, come on, let's do this. I haven't seen this book before. Is it new? Oh, you have? I've never seen it before. Sewn bags. This is called Stylish Bags for Every Occasion. Oh, there's a duffel bag. That Hannah was saying earlier she wanted a duffel bag. £9.99, this book. Beautiful. Right, so in here, this is what we're doing. Now, isn't it lovely there? I mean, it's gorgeous in PU and in uh, velour, but it got, fantastic. Get the book and make yourself one in um, needle cord or something like that. So there's a summer bag. There's the bow trimmed clutch, which is what Catherine's going to make now. You've got your retro handbag. Oh, imagine that out of that uh, cotton canvas that we just had with the handbags on. Be nice, wouldn't it? Then we've got oh, lots of pages on that one. Messenger bag. Now, Jan, weren't you saying on, um, on the Facebook this morning about you wanted to do a messenger bag for your boy that was off to university? That'd be a nice one. Look, because it's in the tweed. Lovely, isn't it? Lots of instructions, lots of pictures. Not bag, not too keen. Stylish shoppers, they're nice, aren't they? Duffel bag, there you go, Han. Now, what fabric was it you said you were going to make a duffel bag out of? Oh, the fruits. I'd have thicker cord in than that, though. I think that looks a bit measly, personally. My own personal opinion. Festival bag, you better go back to those soon, Hannah. Uh, slouch bag, Elliot. Gabardine backpack. Oh, you see, you don't have to do it in Gabardine. You could do it in one of the cotton canvases that we had earlier. Sorry? Gabardine's a fabric, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Pretty tote. Patchwork hold all. There's loads in it. Oh, oh, look, travel bag. That's nice, isn't it? That'd be nice in the roses fabric that we sold out earlier. But we've got it in at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Market basket. Then we've got your felted bag. There's loads in here, look. Reversible shopper. We've got wooden handles coming up in the next hour. Embellished bag. Oh, listen to them next door. I do apologise about that, all that loud noise. Reversible tote. Lace clutch, evening bag. Oh, that's the one on the front, isn't it? Evening bag. And then, now, the one thing I've got to point out, all your templates are in the back here, but they do need to be photocopied, upscaled. There you go. 200%, 140%, 160%. Now, I used to have a shop in Twickenham that I could go to when I lived in Twickenham that would do all that for me. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, you need a printer that prints on A3 paper, Elliot's saying. What's that there? I wonder what that is. Anyway, I'll have to look that one up. 
Or you can put it on A4 and stick it together. And what are those dot, dots for, for the felted bag, do you reckon? No, I don't know. It's intriguing, isn't it? I'll have a look anyway. So there's your book, £9.99. £9 I have got f ooh, n eight bundles, eight bundles for you. The one that's already made out of is this one behind me here, which is, so I've got PU and I've got cotton for the lining. £11.99. Now, you get indigo PU... You get magenta cotton to half a metre and half metre. It hasn't even got the yardaging on here, look. I'm presuming it's half metre and half metre. And you get a magnetic clasp in... Gold. <laughs> in, go in gold. So you get half metre PU, half metre lining, and a magnetic clasp in gold. Do I need anything else? Oh, yes, I'll need to make 640. Yes, fusible fleece. Fusible fleece, yeah. 11 99 You will need to get some fusible fleece, but early bird, today's early bird, remember? Okay, so that's that one. That's the one Ka uh, Catherine's already made. I've got it in four other different... Oh, no, don't mix the bags up. Right, then I've got the black and the grey with the silver clasp, I'm presuming. So it's black PU... It's school grey cotton and the silver clasp. Oh! <laughs> gold clasp. Why would you put the gold clasp with that? Oh, okay. Hannah likes gold. She chose gold. It's gold. Anyway, so that's... Oh, I've ended up with an extra bag. <laughs> okay, I'll put that one in there. <laughs> Elliot will be putting this hour away later. It's fine. He likes this one. Right, okay. So this one, you get gold. Oh, do you want to do peach? No, peach is here. Peach, peach, peach. So you've got peach and you've got pink and you've got a gold clasp. Pink PU. Light pink. And what colour snap fastening have you got? Gold. Yay! I got that one right. Eleven ninety nine, right? And then last but not least, we've got the soft gold and the lemon, and then their gold clasp. It's bound to be on this one, isn't it? Light gold PU, vanilla. Oh, okay. I thought that was lemon, but vanilla, and the gold clasp. Yeah. Yep. There you go. That's lovely. Eleven ninety nine. Obviously, you need to buy the book to get the pattern, and you'll need to make six forty. Okay, now, we, what Catherine's going to make her bag out of is the velour. Now, we need to point something out to here. This is stretchy velour. Oh, I'd say this one was grape. It finishes uh, 25. So, yeah, oh, oh. Now, it is stretchy. Look, it's like a pané velvet, this. Grape crushed velour, magenta cotton, and I'm presuming a silver clasp. Yes, yeah, so this is grape crushed, and the next one coming up is called wine, which is crushed grapes. So this is this here, $7.99. Now you obviously will need a stabiliser on this one. I've got this fabric by the half metre coming up in a minute for dressmaking as well in a minute. Okay, so that's that one. Let me put that in there. That goes in there. I'll fold it up in a minute, don't worry. Then I've got it in wine. It's obviously a red wine, isn't it? 32, yeah. There they are. Now, obviously, it depends which way your pile's going as to what colour that is. Uh, silver or gold? Wine crushed velour, claret cotton, blimey, it's all about drinks, and your silver uh, metallic um, fastener, snap fastener. That. Christmas party, we're thinking. Or like Gary was saying yesterday, his Halloween naughty devil costume. Right. Then we've got the pale blue 
which is rather gorgeous, isn't it? So you've got the baby blue crush velour, the powder blue cotton, and the silver snap fastener, magnetic snap. We will get you in a minute, Catherine, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. And then one more colourway. And then I've just got the velours on their own, and they're 8614, then we can do some sewing. So this one's silver and silver and silver. Platinum, sorry. Platinum, silver and silver. 7.99. Okay, so should we do the velours on their own? So I've got the platinum velour. Okay, Hannah's thinking wise men in the school play. I have to tell you that when I used to go on the Cheshire drama courses, <laughs> we used to wear trousers made out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's got a pair of trousers made out of this in gold. And and no, they were flares as well. But it was the 70s. Anyway, 199 half metre, 100 pen polyester. How wide is it? Look, that's how wide it is. Oh, it's wide, 60 inches wide, look. Beautiful. Have festival trousers. You see, Elliot, Alice and Marion could have made you a little short. Oh, no, I haven't got any gold. Hot pants. Hot pants. Alice and Marion, Marion Nelson made you some gold hot pants, you see. And he's going to wear them. Oh, you're not in next week. He's going to wear them next week. Powder blue. He's just, he's a, he'll send you a photo, he says. <laughs> oh, no. oh, she's really looking forward to that. <laughs> she's so looking forward to that, Elliot. Here we go. So here's your powder. Oh, your baby blue. Velour. Oh, look at that. I, I am thinking also teddy bears. You could make teddy bears with this as well. 100% polyester. <coughs> okay, I wouldn't attempt to do a little jacket with a fur collar out of it, Hannah. Then I've also got it in the wine. That's lovely for Christmas. Little dress made out of that. Uh, now, that looks very red on your telly. It's a, well, on my telly, it's a darker red, but it's not as dark as the one on the website. That's beautiful, though, that, isn't it? Well, and what's the point of me sitting here if I shouldn't use my telly to colour reference? And then I've also got it in the grape, crushed grape, squashed grape. Grape crushed. Nice, isn't it, that one? That is definitely a dark grape colour, that one. Beautiful. Right, very quickly, you need to make 640. It was my early bird today. I'm just checking there's some left. Still my early bird. Now, this is where, remember somebody mentioned it earlier, saying if I buy two metres, will it come as two metres? This comes like this. So if you buy two of these, you'll get two of these packages. Oh, we're crashing again. Well, we, yes. £7.99. £7.99. £7 now, we'll be back at £9.99 tomorrow because this, because um, we now crashed the early bird. It's, there won't be those, you know, when we go, oh, someone hasn't changed the early bird. Right, and you will need some medium weight interfacing as well. Now, I've got some something, we have, this is new to me, this one. This is iron on, oh no, this is tear away. Oh no, don't put that through, don't put that through. Don't put that, I didn't have my glasses on in prep, I didn't see the tear away bit. Just use iron, medium weight iron on interfacing. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, <laughs> how do you find the book? It's a lovely book. Yeah, good instructions, nicely explained. Yeah, except nice your, your one you were making is only the second one in. Did you actually get past the second? Yes, oh, did I you did. you work out what that dotty thing yes, was? Yes, it is, because on the felted bag, you knit it, you, and that's the pattern for knitting it, and then you wash it at a hot temperature to felt to it. To felt it down. Ah, yes. so that's yeah. your knitting pattern. So that's like a little knitting chart so that you can um, alternate your colours. Excellent. Yeah, okay. I, did have, I did have time to have a little flick through. <laughs> well, I know how busy you are. <laughs> and there's a lot of really nice bags actually in here. Yeah, lots of good ones. Are they, are they good for beginners though? Are they, I um, think so. Yeah. Yes, I do. 
and well ex definitely well explained. Brilliant. Yeah, nice and nice photos and things mm -hmm. to explain. Oh no, there's lots of pictures. Everything. Like some of them have got pages and pages <clears throat> of instructions. Which they? is always useful. Yeah. Always useful. Um, and I think this is I think this is quite eveningy and festive and now you've shown me that red velour, I'm thinking nice little dress and a handbag to go yeah, with it. Exactly. Um, You're away. You yeah. just gotta get invited. Well I don't go anywhere, no. but <laughs> Gone are the days. I'll put it, it on for watching Netflix oh, or that, something. Yeah, exactly. But you know, the gone are the days when you the coming to Christmas you have so many invites and so many oh which New Year's Eve party should I go to? And the older you get, they kinda of go dwindle, dwindle, dwindle. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been oh. that popular really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. Let's move on. No, I tell you what, I always worked for very small businesses and then you don't have really Christmas parties, do you? No. No. Oh. So Oh, never mind. Never mind. Well, um, now that you run a business, maybe you should throw a big, great, big Christmas party. Well, it's tempting. It's also expensive. Would you like to come? Yes, please. Okay, I'll do one. Perfect. Okay, so I have cut my pieces out ready. Right. Very straightforward. There's a front and a back and some pieces for the bow. So these are my these are my floor ones. And what I would suggest that you do is you actually iron on your interfacing over the whole bit of your fabric first. Before you cut out. And then cut it a out. Good tip. Because it's going tip. to stop it stretching and it will be the right Well, tip. also, it'll roll slightly as well, won't it? Yes. So if you haven't got your interfacing Absolutely. on, you never get your interfacing and your piece to match again after that. So that's yes. a good idea. So I would do that. And once it's stabilised, very nice and easy to work with. Okay. Lovely. Uh, and then, now, I've actually, because I cut my lining out, and I've actually put my fusible fleece on my lining instead of my velour. Right. Just because I felt it was going to be a little bit easier to work with. And also, you don't want to iron the velour too many times, do you, really? Exactly. Definitely get your muslin and get your pressing cloth to do it as yeah. well um, so that you don't melt things. Yes. <laughs> they don't look like, they don't look the shape pattern pieces I was imagining for this bag. No, I mean, well, this do, is your, this is your back. And then this is your front, and then they fold over like that. But then when you put them together, but we've got a little boxed corner. But then also the flap that comes over, it's got like a bit of velour missing on it. On yes, it, it, it yeah, but it does work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure, I'm sure it does. But you know what I mean? You'd expect that piece of velour, which is the front, to be the same shape as the back to make that fold over flat you see here at the top the fold over flat bit there. yes what, yes it's just a little there? bit yeah and it just comes yeah. over like that so. okay okay um and we're going to start off by you can see i've marked on them i've marked where my magnetic clasp is going to grow yeah and there are two little dots to mark as well which is just for where we stitched to and there that it tells you in the book where they are to, it's the and piece. they're marked on the pattern yeah. piece absolutely so first thing is to put my um magnetic snap onto I just want to make sure I put it onto the right bit hey, yeah. on the right side because <laughs> one's going on my lining and one is going on my outer I'm just reading it to make sure yeah. I do the wrong so I'm about to do it to reverse I'm doing well the outer front. one will be the one on the front of your bag it you? is front. yes but of course it's very dark so it's kind of hard to see so we'll do it on the we didn't do it on the reverse but we can cut through so mm -hmm. marking my little spot now what i would say is that is that i would add extra interfacing just to reinforce it but i haven't got any right okay so just what just to add another square on yes <coughs> over, <coughs> over the back me. So I'm going to poke my, where I've snipped, we're going to poke our prongs through. Can't find them. You see That's them. it. Yeah, I can now. Okay, like so. And you're going to, oh, it's dropped out. Oh. <laughs> Let's get it again. Here we go. Do you know what? They are so much easier to put on than I am making it look, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Prong over the back. And then you press them down. And then I would iron another little bit of interfacing over, over the top, the top but I have run out of your medium interfacing. So 
Okay, and then we're going to put our front and back pieces right sides together. So you don't have to put the other half of the magnetic clasp on at this That's point. That's going on your line. So you don't need to worry so about that. So you don't need to now. worry about that okay. for now. now. If we just um, follow the, the instructions in the book, it does that bit later on. And we're going to stitch all the way around the three sides. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very nice, straightforward construction, this bag. You will whiz it up and have a glamorous clutch bag to take out with you. There's some very bent pins in here. Mm -hmm. okay. That'd be Elliot's job. <laughs> or to sort out the pin tray. Studio manager, aren't you? I think he's got a lot of different roles, actually. Yes. <laughs> Definitely got a lot of different names. Okay. So again, I'm just going to use a one centimetre seam allowance. Okay. Now you've got your walking foot on. Do you Doesn't need especially foot? need a walking foot. Yeah, foot, just no. on there. Um, but it's, it's, it's uh, if you were, I mean, especially when you get to the bit where you're putting it all together with your fleece, it always just goes through nicely and moves everything through evenly, evenly doesn't exactly, it? So yeah. if a little bit of your fleece hasn't totally stuck down, it will just be kind yeah. to it, won't it? But Fiona it? was saying yesterday, she has it on all the time, <clears throat> basically. She never takes it off because it just makes life easier. Uh, Joel, Christine says, hello, gorgeous John Scott and Catherine. I've got this book, it's brilliant. And so is my Elna 570A. Dawn Taylor's watching. Now, did I read somewhere that Dawn Taylor's left being a teacher? She's no longer a teacher. Did I read that somewhere or did I dream it? Yeah. I think she was like in a nursery. Didn't she work in a nursery or something like that? I think she's left. Oh. Oh, we got your Teflon foot here, Dawn. And, uh, someone was supposed to bring it with them, weren't they? No, no, that's right. Because Barbara McClay was, thought it was hers. And she was going to, but she was going to see Dawn Taylor. Anyway, I forgot to give it. Never mind. When you're in next, then Dawn, we're here. It's Haley's got. Anna's got it for you, ready? Yes. Anna. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't pull it out fast enough. You know when your brain thinks something but your hands don't move fast enough? All the time. I was thinking there, pull the pin out and then it didn't move and then it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Last day at nursery we'll yesterday, she says. Sewing every day now. Ooh, oh, cranky dawn. Wow. Okay. Right, so how did you go right up to the top on that one? No, no. there's two little dots. Oh, there, what the dots just were for, sort of yeah. about a centimetre and a half down from the top so that when you put it all together, it makes making the opening straightforward. Brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to box out our corners. Now, especially when I made the sample, when I did the PU, when you come to box the corners, I would really trim these corner bits down so it's right. not too bulky. Um, just to take off the bulk and just trim down like that. Uh -huh. It'll just make it go together a bit Perfect. nicer. Uh, now, the w one thing the book didn't tell me was how big to measure for the boxing. So I went with three quarters of an inch. Oh, okay, that so it's just a little box, it's a little box. It then. is, it, it didn't particularly give a measurement. Um, so you've got a choice, but I felt three quarters of an inch was about yeah. right. How strange. That's my little iron, we'll just press, press our seams open again, just to reduce the bulk a bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's got everything else on there. The little dot, it's got the snap positioning, the bows. It's got everything else, hasn't it, apart from how big the um, yeah. thing is. Oh, Hazel sent a message in. John, I'm late to the party. Which interfacing are you using on the outer fabric? That's just a medium weight iron-on interfacing. Three ninety nine. it is. It is. And then the other one on the inside is H640. So just grab my little ruler because mm -hmm. it and I can measure it on here. So I'm just going to draw myself a little line across where I'm going to box it. You can make so you can make it bigger if you want to. It's your choice. We yeah. could try an inch today and see how it looks compared to my three quarters oh. of an inch on the other one, couldn't we? We could have a little experiment. So just 
mark yourself where you want to do it on that corner and you can see I've flattened it out so that the seam is right to the point on both sides mm -hmm. and it's going to be nice and, and even. We'll just stitch across. And then you can just cut away the excess there. Uh huh. So we'll do the same on the other side. And I was a little bit worried about this fabric when I first got it, but once it's interfaced, it's actually really easy to. Yeah, it really with. needs to be interfaced for these bags, though. Yes, it? yes. Very, very popular today. Um, on selling on its own. But as I well. really like the idea that you can make your badge, bag and dress to go, you know, exactly. it, that's really exactly. very classy and stylish thing to do. And I think I think this year we probably all should do some Christmas parties, shouldn't we? To make well, up for we not having, to any. well, yeah, do, <laughs> we're going to be, do, I'm hoping we're all going to be inundated with wonderful invitations. Yeah, there. exactly. Um, but, uh, you know, since we didn't get to do things last year, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think we've got to. Celebra celebrate where we can. Exactly. The graphics that are in the moment, <coughs> the grape crushed velour is one Catherine's using. Glennie says lovely demos. She's watching while she's doing her chores. That number in Coventry is ringing me again. No, I don't, well, I don't know because it's. They, I hate those cold calling things because they try and t they kind of confuse you because you think, oh, I've got friends in Coventry, it might be them, you know what I mean? But it, then they go, have you had an accident to work? You're like, <laughs> no. I pretty much don't answer my phone if it doesn't bring a name up. No, I don't anymore. <laughs> I don't. Although there's the odd person who, it's really weird, their names don't show oh. and then they think I'm ignoring them. Well, no, if it's important, they'll leave a message. Well, exactly. Impertent. So we can see the shape of the bag now. And just uh -huh. doing that little box just gives it quite a nice shape, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? So that's a tiny, a tiny bit bigger than the one you've made here, the box, did you say? Did you say you I did it a little bit bigger. I've done yeah. it an inch on okay. this one. Okay. Right. So we're going to do the same thing with our lining. Right. We're going to pop our clasp on first. And then pop it together and box the corners. Mm -hmm. Are you in the next few days, John? Uh, it's Saturday and Sunday. You're going to see a lot of bagging out, I aren't you, over the am. next few days? <laughs> or, or some some people call it birthing the bag. That's what they're just. Can you hear them? That's what they're just saying. Oh, really? I yeah. couldn't hear. No. But yeah, yeah, no. Some people do call it birthing the bag, and I was like, oh, okay. Now bagging I, out, isn't it? <laughs> Again, as we put this together, we need to just make sure we leave a little gap so that we can birth our bag at the end. Yeah. So I'll leave a little gap on the side. Is that your gap, that bit there? That's my gap. Right. To remind me. <laughs> so it's actually quite a simple little mate. It's what? a really yeah. lovely, simple little mate. You could do this in an afternoon and then you've got it to go out in the evening. Mm -hmm. No problem. Number two, I haven't got my dots marked on, but they are about there. Right, yeah. Okay, so we'll go around this in the same way, one centimetre seam. The only trouble is, John, if I get invited to any parties, I don't think I could wear my party shoes anymore. Why not? Because I just wear trainers all the time now. Oh, no. I haven't worn my heels for so Two long. Two years? Yes. <laughs> well, you have to wear the heels to arrive, and then you make a clutch bag big enough to put your trainers <laughs> Yes, in, exactly. And then you swap once you get there. Especially if it's a dinner party, you can kick the shoes off there. Well, I've got some shoes. Uh, some, I've got some really lovely designer shoes, but I can only wear them up if I'm going to be mainly sitting down. Oh, yes, yeah. 
I've got uh, my friend Nadine, when she worked at Hello Magazine, every Christmas there was a shoe designer that would send her a, a voucher and say, go in and choose yourself a pair of shoes. And they were like £900 in shoes and everything. And she said, therefore, arriving in and sitting down in, but that would be yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But you'd think you'd spend that much money on a pair of shoes. You'd want well, them to be I know. like a trainers on heels, really, wouldn't but you? But when I, when I was 40, that we, my, what we did for my birthday was we went to London for the weekend and I went to Selfridges and I got a pair of designer shoes because it, it was just like a really special yeah. thing to do. Oh. And every so often I take them out and look at them and stroke them a bit. Do you not wear them just to walk around the house a little bit? Well, they're really, they are really sparkly. They are covered in like oh. sparkle. And like I say, I can only mainly sit down in them. <laughs> yeah, but you want to arrive. But they are lovely. So sees them. <laughs> So just trim those again and let's box those corners. Mm -hmm. Don't forget they're an inch this time. No, I hadn't forgotten. So I'm using my little line on my ironing board, which is proving quite handy. H614 in the graphics now. Remember it's oh, remember it's the early bird price. It doesn't go down each time. It only goes down to the same price. Don't be thinking, oh, I'll wait till the end of the show. It'll be a penny then or something. <laughs> That's as low as it will go. It's a good big piece. You'd get definitely more than one bag out of it. I oh think. yeah, definitely. Well, for this week, you're going to need lots of it, aren't you? Absolutely. I'm due to be here on Christmas Eve. Maybe I'll make a glamorous dress for Christmas oh, Eve. Oh, are you? Oh. Now, we're not normally in Christmas Eve, are we, Hannah? We're normally just Christmas Day. I didn't leave my gap, John. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I you would've. put the pins in I and put and the everything. pins in as well. <laughs> Let's look at the book and then while we're just doing a quick unpicking there. Beautiful book. Sewn bags. It's called Stylish Bags for Every Occasion. Now, it doesn't say. It must be different designers. This one, because it doesn't say who's designed any of it. Oh, no, here you go, credits. Each one is by a different designer. Emma Brennan, Sue Bauer. Yeah, that's nice. You get all different ones, don't you, in there? Diana Uprichard, Jemima Schlee, Vanessa Munsi. Lots of them. Lots of different designers in there. So it's beautiful. You get all those different bags, all for your $9.99. There are 20 affordable designer quality bags from the comfort of your home featuring styles ranging from everyday totes to formal clutches. With clear step-by-step -step instructions and handy tips throughout, you'll be making bespoke bags in next to no time. 9 99 Excellent. Uh -huh. Right. Quickly unpicked. It even says in the book, remember to leave a gap yes. of around 10 You even put your pin in and I said, is that the pin for the turning point? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so we've got our bag out of the right way round, the lining the wrong way round, so we're putting them together, right sides together. Yeah. Pat says, hello, John, my friend had a cold caller about an accident, but she told them they were too late. She was buried yesterday. <laughs> Pat, that's a brilliant way. That's a brilliant thing to do. Brilliant idea. Okay, Anna says when she gets called saying, you've been in an accident which wasn't your fault. She says, it probably was my fault because I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know people that actually start asking questions back 
and the people get so flummoxed, they don't know what to do, they put the phone down then. I just don't bother answering the phone. Well, I don't. My, my husband will, uh, he often, he just goes, hello, 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 oh, because he keeps doing it sort of louder and louder. But then, like, like you say, most phones now, the number comes up if it's a friend or somebody who you know. It's only very rarely is it somebody you don't know. Our landline stopped working. We don't quite know why. Okay. We haven't managed to fix it, but it's actually made really no difference to our lives no. at all. The only person that rings me on my landline is Julie, my sister-in-law. That's the only one. That's the only person who rings me. Well, it's our parents, but now we've we've got them ringing on the mobiles, so it's okay. Well, I, I read somewhere that they're, they're planning on just scrapping all home phones eventually, yeah. aren't they? Well, I, I think it's more and more people don't use them. Do yeah, they? exactly. So, got it pinned all around the top, mm -hmm. and it is quite a small opening, so we yeah. do need to slide the little bit off the sewing machine, yeah. so we can get it round. Is it going to go round? Oh, is it going to fit? Mm, yeah. It does. And we're just going to go all the way around the top. Get my little dish back. Else I'll be breaking the needle. Everything's magnetising oh to no. it. <laughs> I love these little dishes though. Yeah. They're so useful. Right, um, half the stock of the book is gone once you've all checked out. So is it new? Is it is it new today? Okay, it has been on twice before. Not with me then, obviously. Yeah. Wendy and Vicks have had it. I've not had this one. It has got a lot of projects. Yeah, hasn't it? Maybe this is the first time we've demoed from it. Could be. Elliot's making things up now. Morning, John and Catherine. The bag on the shelf, does it have any interfacing? <coughs> um, oh, the, the, the PU one. Did I interface it? I interfaced my lining. Just with not the iron-on interfacing or just with the, the H640? With, the, um, with iron-on interfacing. I didn't use any fusible fleece, fleece in the PU one. Okay. But I did interface it. And on the bow, instead of using two layers of the PU, I used a lining and a PU, else it would have been really, really thick to turn But around. I think that's quite nice because then you get that like, you get a little glimpse. Like you've piped the bow almost, doesn't it? Yeah, a little glimpse of the lining. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's that, that one of the PUs, that's the most popular bundle, the one that Catherine's made already, that one there. I really like the gold. Oh, <laughs> you're really getting Christmas <laughs> to go To go with my hot pants. Yeah. Well, Elliot can wear his hot pants, you can have the handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah can have her gold shoes, her gold trainers. Oh, you haven't got them anymore? Oh, they fell apart. Buy cheap, buy twice. You can borrow some of our little Paul's leopard print ones. So we pull it all through. Yeah. We're going to stitch up the side. And push it in and then we'll make the bow. Fantastic. And obviously, ideally, you would have matching cotton for this. Oh, have you not? No. Or you could hand stitch it. Yeah. The thing is, you could hand stitch it, but who's going to? Nobody's going to see it inside your bag, are they? Anyway. Really. Not unless they're very nosy. Well, my mum always used to say, "You never look in a lady's bag." I don't know why. She used to do that all the time. Now, the other thing you need to do is make sure you've taken all your pins out, oh, you not left one left in, one in oh, like I've no. just done. That'll I be could, the one telling you I to, cut, to stop for the bagging out. That's what that one will be. I know. I'm too busy thinking about, I'm thinking about all the cocktails I'm going to drink, you see, when I go oh, out for <laughs> Christmas parties. <laughs> I'd have to, I could drive the bus because <laughs> I don't drink. I could drink the works charabang and we'd all come and I'll drive the minibus. Push 
push that right down. Yes, there is a is a pin sticking out. I'm, I am going to oh. take that out because it's slightly lethal. Yeah. Just I'm going to pick a very slight, tiny hole in my lining to get it out. This yeah. happens when I teach my children's classes sometimes. Oh, well, you leave the pins in? No, no, they get they turn it around and they'll be like, oh, there there's is. something. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pin sticking out of mine. Yeah, but it's not a not a good look, is it? There we go. That's better. Not quite so lethal. So I feel like it needs a really good press with my. Oh, cloth. you could use uh, the iron that Gary had just said, just steam it. Oh. You haven't got to put the iron anywhere near it. You've got to be a little bit careful ironing the, the velour anyway. Yeah. But we'll just sort of fiddle it into place now. Okay, so we're getting the, the idea here. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I love the bow on it, but if you don't want a bow. You don't have to have a bow, a you can just go with a nice, clutch bag nice like, just it? a little clutch bag like that. Yeah. But we'll make the bow so yeah, you yeah, can yeah. see how to do it. So we've got like a central bit and then we've got two big shapes. Because it's a statement bow, isn't it? It is a statement it bow. Is That's a statement people used to know that if I'd bow. made a wedding dress, it would usually have a great big bow somewhere on it like that. It's quite eight is a big bow, don't you all think? Alright, alright. Well no, I just feel that from you know, I was there in the eighties so and it's just, old fashioned. It was no pussy pussy bow, you had big yeah, bows yeah, on yeah. your blouses and everything. Yeah. It was just the fashion. But also like but I, I think they've come back in. When you well they are, but when you're at a wedding, for the audience it's really boring if you see their back the whole time. So you decorate the back of the wedding dress, yes. have something to lovely to look at. Yes. Just mine. Yeah. Big pussy bow. So we're going to stitch all the way round. I've done there's two sides, two pieces, right sides together. All the way round, but you do need to leave a little gap yeah, to turn we'll this. Forget. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at the bottom now. So let's let's try and remember this time. Becky Alexander first says you can't go wrong with a bow. You've got to love a bow. Exactly. She's an 80s girl at heart, isn't she? Oh no, she'll have been born. How old is Becky Alexander? She's about 45. So she'll be an 80s girl. Yeah. I don't think she. <laughs> Her husband's about 16. Oh, he's 18, is it, husband? Why? Right, oh, hang on. She was born in 1983. <clears throat> she says, Hubby's 18. I don't think so. He looks older than me. Uh, Becky Ann is under frost. He doesn't. Unless he's, unless um, lockdown has aged him. Well, oh, that's young, people. isn't it? What, what? 1983, that's young. I had a massive bow on my wedding dress in the 1980s. Did I make it for you, Teresa? Did I do it for you? Oh no, but Sue can't abide 80s ruffles, even though I thought I was so cool at the time. <laughs> yeah, so I, think, I think if you've done it the first time round, you, you're less likely oh to no. the second time, are you? 83, 93, 103, 113. <laughs> oh, she's nearly 40. Becky Alexander Frost. Well, that's very young though. Same age as Elliot. Oh, now, now everyone's asking Becky Alexander Frost questions now about how old her babies are. Don't cut, cut onto the back, cut, cut onto the, um, there you go. Okay, so we've turned it round. Mm -hmm. Push the points out. As, uh, I clipped the corners again yeah. so you can push your points out. Okay, 
And then we're going to make a little middle part. Okay. It tells you to press, just press in the edges. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I'd be tempted to bag it out with some, some of the lining fabric. Well, you could do that if you then, wanted to. Then you know to. it's all secure then. Yes. You could easily do that way that, it that way because you have got plenty of, of fabric. Yeah. But I'm just going to do it like I'm, I'm just, this is how the book tells you do it like that and, and stitch down. Right. <coughs> Again, if you're making it in the PU, wouldn't do two layers of PU if you were going to bag it out. Yeah. Now in the book, it tells you to gather up your bow, which we will do with the velvet one. With the PU one, obviously it's much stiffer, so I couldn't do that. Yeah. So what I actually did was I just did some, I did some little pleats yes. up it like that and stitched the pleats in to make it look like it had been yeah. gathered. And then you can make it look nice and even actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn the bow into a little tube, so right sides together and just stitch along there. Okay, we'll turn, press that flat and turn it round. Feel it lends off. Yeah. So it's reasonably tidy. Okay. And then we're just going to, I'm going to sew up that little hole and pop some gathering stitches in. Let's just sew this up first. Oh, it's quite easy to make a nice long stitch. Yeah. So obviously when you gather, make sure you don't reverse. And also don't use your scissors. Yeah. Leave a little tail. The thing is, when you've got scissors on your machine, you really get into the habit of using Just them, don't them you? Just clicking them automatically, yeah. Yeah. Okay. See if it's going to gather up nicely or not. We're almost done, Elliot. Yeah. This is the last little bit. Yeah. It would be if it gathered up. <laughs> That's it. It's just fine. It's finding the right one to pull, yeah, isn't exactly. it? One put always pulls and one doesn't. We're going to slide our little tube on over the middle. Okay. Just make it adjust it so it looks lovely. And then you can hand stitch it, which uh -huh. I'm not going to do. So it really Let's finishes just get it off in the velour, doesn't it? It, I, I, it does look really nice, mm. actually. And you're going to hand stitch that in place on the front of your bag. Uh, now, when you did the PU, like were so. you able to hand stitch the PU on or did you um, <coughs> use something else? I, I did use a little bit of uh, glue, actually, well, no, no, to pop I, it I on. You, but I you could secure it with um, some extra stitches as well yeah, if you just, wanted to. I just to. think it's, uh, sometimes hand stitching when you do the PU, sometimes you can just, it's not like catching a fabric, is it? Sometimes yeah. you can almost... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Not tear the fat, not tear it, but damage the fabric yes. a little bit. Um, so I, I used some, um, well, it was copy decks that we used okay. on bags. Other glues are available. Absolutely. 
Um, OK, uh, on another note, oh, this is nothing to do with saying, did any of you lovelies used to freeze your hair with a quart of curly halo, then destroy the ozone with a can of hairspray? <laughs> Wind was your enemy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Brilliant. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, and Thank Catherine you. will be back in an hour's time on Yarn Lane. And we're going to be doing these little dollies that turn inside out. That's not, that doesn't sound right. Topsy-turvy dolls. Topsy-turvy dolls. Uh, everyone else knows about them. I'd never even seen them before. I heard of them. Right, very quick roundup. Book. Book. Very popular. Uh, nine pounds, nine ten pence. We think it's the first time we've demoed anything from this book. Nine pounds, nine ten. There's twenty projects in there. Twenty projects in there. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, do you want me to go through all of the bundles, or are you going to be specific? Okay, go on then. The one the sample's made out of, the blue PU with the magenta lining and the gold clasp, magnetic clasp, 11 99 Obviously, you need the book for the pattern. That's just for the fabric. You get half a metre of the PU, half a metre of the lining, uh, and the clasp, the magnetic clasp. Beautiful. Next. The gold PU. This one you get the half a metre of the gold, half a metre of the vanilla and your gold clasp. Eleven ninety nine. Remember this, the um, PU is, is very wide, so you'll have quite a bit of that left over. The one we just demoed with, which was this one. Okay, so this is the crushed grape with, your, with a magnetic clasp. <laughs> I can't remember if it was the silver or the gold one. Seven ninety nine. So you get half a meter, half a meter, and a clasp. Clasp. Seven ninety nine. If you want the grape velour on its own, you can have the grape velour on its own. You're going to make a dress or a skirt to go with. Remember, it's stretchy. It's like, um, it's like um, pane velvet, this. Lovely. It's, even that stretchy will be a nice one to work with, but you will need a ballpoint needle if you make a dress out of it. You're fine when you've got your stabiliser on the back or your interfacing on the back, but when you make a dress, I'd use a stretch needle. One ninety-nine for half a metre. Lovely. Anything else? Wine. So the wine bundle, you get half a metre of the fabric, half a metre of the fabric and a magnetic clasp. There you go. Elliot rather likes that red. That's good to know, Elliot. Thank you for that. And then the velour on its own. Oh, he's getting all offended now. He's got such a, what's it, soft nature, sensitive. One ninety-nine for half a metre. Beautiful. All the rest are on the website. Please go in there and check yourself out. Is that it? After the break, it's me and lots and lots and lots of bag-making hardware. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewers together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Jan, the velour was 60 inches wide. 60 inches wide, just so you know. Right, before I do this, before I do my bag making spectacular bonanza shop, just need to, I'm sorry, I had a biscuit and I've just not got rid of all the crumbs. Um, I've just got to remind you about the machines we had on the professional hour yesterday. Two hours, right? The blind hemming machine from Tony. Here's a picture. Here you go. Right, now, George from Franklin's did the most brilliant um, demo on this yesterday at 11 o'clock, right? I presumed, <coughs> I just thought when I saw it, I'd never heard of one before. It's the most incredible machine. It's £579. You can get it on three split pays of £193. You do get a free magnetic lamp and you do get um, uh, threads because you need to use extra thin threads on it. You do also get... 
um, like uh, extra needles, you get screwdrivers, you get oil, you get all, like in, with normal machines, you do get the warranty from Franklin's, one year manufacturer's warranty from um, Franklin's as well. Now, I've got to be totally and utterly honest with you, we sold out, I'll just tell you, we sold out of all the machines yesterday. Paul the buyer got in touch with Franklin's, they got us some more machines, I think it was 15 extra machines, right? Of that 15, there are now how many left? Five left. There's only five left now. Now, <coughs> I'm not adding any injury pressure, but in this day and age, like Gary's explained yesterday, deliveries are really, not deliveries from us to you, but deliveries to the warehouse are, re are still erratic with all the kind of, pro you, I don't need to tell you what the problems are. So basically, anything that we haven't sold by Sunday, night, tomorrow, uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, they want them back to go to their other suppliers because there are other suppliers saying, we want that Tony machine, we want that Tony machine. So there are, f at this moment in time, what time is it? 11 o'clock on Friday morning, there are five left. If they've all gone, well, no, we want them to all be gone because if we have to give them back to Franklin's. We have to, now, we haven't got them here. They're delivered straight from Franklin's and within a couple of days once you've paid for it and everything. But... Um, if there any, so after Monday, I won't be able to say, you won't be able to ring me up after Monday and go, oh, John, can I have one of those blind 10 minutes? No, cannot, cannot, cannot do it. They've all got to go back. But at this rate, there's only five left. And I think those five will go over the weekend. But I'm just telling you, so we sold the whole stock of what we had. We got an extra 15 and we've now only got five of those left. That one is quite urgent if you're thinking of getting that. Now, remember, even with the split pay, there's no interest charge whatsoever. Um, it's just the price divided by three, and um, it gets sent to you after you've paid the first one. So if you pay, if you buy that today, £193. Oh, actually, it's Friday, isn't it? So on Monday, Franklin's will put into motion that being delivered straight to you and everything after the first payment. Uh, it's still £395 post packaging, not for that machine. And, uh, the, the, it's quite a hefty machine, right? Um, oh, can I just tell you, four left now. There are now four left, and that's it. And like Gary said, he has no idea. Like, obviously, so if they're taking those away from us to get to, to sell to other suppliers or to give to other suppliers, who knows when we'll get it back in again, right? This is the only one there's any urgency on. The other machines don't have to get sent back, do they? It's just this one. Just this one that gets sent back. So I'll tell you about the other machines in a minute, but just, um, just this one, okay? Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, what was I in the middle of saying? Uh, delivery. Oh, yeah, 3 95 posted packaging. Now, if you've already bought something else from me today, say you've bought one of those kits or some velour, right? Uh, you don't pay another 3 95 It's 3 95 for the whole day. So you'll get that parcel from Franklin's. You get the velour from us, right? Just telling you, there's only four left. Four left, that's it now. I know, it's fantastic. And you get this. And you, So you need to use extra thin... Um, thread, so they put the extra thin thread in, you get four reels that, and you get this amazing, it's not on the picture, the, the, the magnet, it's a really, really, well, if you go and look, if you go and look at George doing it on, on YouTube yesterday, on the show yesterday, you see the lamp because he turns it accidentally right to you, so it's kind of blinding you a little bit. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant little lamp, but you don't have to just use it on there. It's got a big magnet on the end, so if you've got metal shelves, you could just put it on the metal shelves. Put, you know what I mean? It's fantastic. Anyway, £579. Have a think about it. Have a think about it. Alice and Marion bought one. So have a think about it. Oh, Teresa loves Franklin's in Colchester. Fabulous place. I know. Um, right, OK. So that's that machine. We also had another machine yesterday. Which one are you going to first? Oh, right. Now, this machine, this is gorgeous, this machine. It's a sewing machine, but it just does straight stitch. And Gary said, it's new to Sewing Street, but it's not new to him. He's been um, selling it for about 20 years. He said it's the most brilliant, uh, well, it goes fast. Oh, you can see the demo yesterday. If you go yesterday to YouTube, um, Gary in the 12 o'clock hour, he starts doing a demo of it on the 12 o'clock hour. Now, he's very restricted in time, so you don't get a full-on Gary demo but you do get um, why you should get it and everything like that. Um, it's fantastic if you do quilting. It's fantastic if you do dressmaking. It goes forwards and backwards. It's got the feed dogs. You can do free motion embroidery on it brilliantly. Um, but but it, just does, has the straight, it just has the straight stitch on it. A lovely, lovely machine. Excuse me, with a great big table. 
Um, and it's uh, £1,495. Now, what it doesn't tell you on there, don't come back to me, stay on the picture. What it doesn't tell you on there is you also get extra feet with it, right? And we don't know how much the extra, I didn't ask Gary how much the, the little package was. So it comes with an awful lot anyway, but with that deal for Sewing Street, it comes with a, a good package of extra feet, there's an invisible zip foot, a piping foot, uh, all those different things. It's from the industrial range, so it's a hefty machine and you will love it, you will absolutely love it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Right, okay, sorry. Right, you can come back to me. I'm, I'm getting ready for the next demonstration, but I just need to tell you this, right? So we're not sending this one back. Not this, the, uh, the, the, the sewing machine. We're not sending that back. There's only three left now. There's only three left. I can't tell you, yesterday, when we do the show, so many people message me going, I've got this machine, it's fantastic. I've got this machine, I love it. I've got this machine. Purely, have we ever done a purely straight stitch machine here? Don't think we have, have we? I know that one's new to us, but look at the split pay. Five split pays of £300. You don't have to use split pay if you don't want to. It's got suckers on the bottom, so it doesn't move on the table. It is so quiet and it's so um, stable as a machine. It's incredible. That big dial on the front, that's your stitch length. You see, I can just go through the front, right? So you've got your stitch length there, the big dial. You have got a... Um, thread cutter, you have got a needle up, needle down position, the, the big bar across the one is the reverse, and then you see at the bottom there, that's your feed dogs, that's your feed dogs there. Now, at, because it's an industrial machine, your bobbin isn't a top loader bobbin, it's one that goes in the side, but if you look on the table, next to where the needle goes in, there's a little plate there, you lift that up, and then the, in the table, there's like a trap door that lifts up, so you can change the bobbin, it's really, really easy. It's fantastic. It's a nice machine. Go and watch it on YouTube from yesterday. But there's only, what say, three left. Okay, suddenly there's lots of people on the phone lines for that. Well, we presume it might be for that. Now, the other machine, what I'll do is before 12 o'clock, before, before I get to Yarn Lane, I will just check, double check the figures of these just before we go to Yarn Lane. We don't know if you're on the phone for the hammer or for, the, uh, for that, or maybe for this, right? This, if I could, I'd have this. Well, I've told them, Kat said, this isn't ours, this is Gary's, right? And she said at the end of the demo, you're going to leave that, aren't you, Gary? This iron, look at the price, right? This is what I don't understand. Because I, bought, I used to have one of these when we were in costumes, when we were doing films, when we were doing theatre, we always had one of these. And I'm sure we paid more money than that for these. You get £50 off. Yes, 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 yeah. I said that on the birthday show. Yeah, yeah. On the on the birthday show, we uh, we remember we had the each day there was a prize. So this was the prize on one day, and then at the end of the week, somebody won all the prizes. So t two people have won this one. I was trying to get them to come in yesterday to to to, to let us know how they were getting on with it. So many people messaging, going, "Can I buy it? Can I buy it? Can I buy it?" Well, you can now. Right? How many of these? Because I know we had more stock of these. That's how many's left. And none of these have to go back then. Okay, so, we, no, no, we should, we should stock this all the time. We should stock all this time, which I think is what they've done, because we had extra one cent. We had extra one cent. So that means that, uh, I've got plenty of these at the moment, but how many sold yesterday then? Okay, so we've got plenty of these. We're all right, but it, uh, quite a few sold yesterday. What it is, I, I'm not gonna switch it on now, but it, you fill this with water, um, please, 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 I did tell the story yesterday, do not, never open this bit here once the pressure builds up, because just don't, that. um, anyway, this isn't too heavy, this isn't a heavy iron, you can use it as a dry iron if you want to, you don't have to use steam with it or anything, and I, my question was, not many people have got room for this in their workroom at the end of their sewing, at, at the end of their, um, ironing board and things like that, well, no, because this comes with it, right, let me just put that there, this comes with it. I know it's a little trolley, little trolley. That comes with it. That comes with it. And these come with it. Here, this is your bottle to fill this. And this is your little, I don't know why you use that little one. You've got your big filler here. Um, somebody, very, very, we had so many brilliant questions in yesterday. Somebody messaged you and said, do I need you to use specialist water, like distilled water? Gary said, in Essex, 
the water, like the men, hard, right? So he uses distilled water. But it depends. Hey, what? Yeah, he's saying he's a hard man, isn't he? I'm hard. Got a yard. Anyway, 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 um, check your water where you are. He says if you've got really, really hard water, they use distilled water. It'll last longer if you do use distilled water. You need that bottle because that's how much water fits in there. Anyway, anyway, lots of you coming in for this. Um, please, please, please um, watch the film. Yeah, because, the, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what you can do, right? In the morning, right, I have to get up after iron my shirts, bring them all in and everything like that. If you put your shirt after it's cut, cut out the washing machine and dried and everything, it's all wrinkled like that, right? You can do this, put it on a coat hanger, press the steam, and the steam is strong enough to press your shirt on a hanger. It's brilliant. It really, really, really is brilliant. It's what, sorry? I've done, no, I'm not doing wrinkled shirts again. Taking the mickey out of me now. £299, £50 off. So that means if we've got extra stock, I said I didn't know how, how long the £50 off was going to last for. But if, oh, it's leaked on the... Um, the £50 off is obviously for the, those that we've got stock of now. Yeah, it's, nothing's leaked. It's the, I put the bottle down, didn't I? Because Elliot not dropped it on the floor this morning, see. Um, that Juki machine is the most bought machine for quilters in America. There you go. That's the sewing machine. The sewing machine, that was from Becca. Right, I need to just tell you about the um, blind hemmer. Just quickly. Have they all gone? There are two left and eight people in baskets. Two left and eight people in baskets. Right, I'm going to go on with the handbag out because you'll get angry with me. What I'll do is... Oh, I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> uh, just before we go to Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock, I'll tell you, uh, the, 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 steamer, uh, the steamer iron, we're fine for. We're absolutely fine for that because we've got lots more stock in. It's only the sewing machine and the um, thingy. You know what the situation's like. Um, we also did do the... Um, Scissors yesterday, but we only gave George about two minutes to do them. But um, I know, we should, well, well, uh, we'll get Neil to do it again next time. Right. Okay. Uh, what a wonderful price, John Scott. Reminds me of factory ones. They're amazing. And spring back to plate. Don't know what that means. Spring back to plate. Anyway, let's get on. Let's get on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anna wants to do the glue first. Yeah, we can send you this. It's the solvent glue. We can send you this. Apparently, Elliot said about 20 times, John, it always sells out. John, it sold out. John, it sells out. John, it sells out. John, it sells out. Four ninety nine. This is the one that Lisa Lamb uses. At four ninety nine, Goods from an HT2 textile glue. This is brilliant for when you're gluing in your fabric into your um, clasps and things like that. Four ninety nine. You know the alleyway between <laughs> they have between Hannah's house and the abattoir. They've now opened the nurseries. You know, like a plant nursery. I know it's all very cosmopolitan in Hannah's village. I was oh, I've seen the loveliest coffee shop in your village called. Biscottos, I think, or something like that. It's, I was, I was probably thought it was Italian. It's little, little. It looks like it's been there since 1950. Oh, and she wears her hair in the hairnet. And it looked just so lovely. In the road where you go up to, to, to the sewing machine shop. Yeah. It's a really, really cute cafe. At 4 99 4 99 Oh, it used to be French and it's now Polish, apparently. Oh, you're the wire suspension thing. Yes, exactly. Okay, right, yo, so let me move on to these now. So, any particular order? Okay, so curvy clutch I'm doing first. So, this is your lovely curvy clutch. 
Now, you're thinking, why is there a bit of string in there? The bit of string is there for when you put your fabric in and you glue your fabric in, you then get that string, it's not string, it's paper, but you put it in and it wedges in between the fabric and the clasp, which means it doesn't fall out. $14.99, the instructor, now let's have a look, is there a, um, you need a fat quarter to make the bag, a fat quarter to line it and fusible fleece and the glue. So, I've been on once before, I'm is the instruction, have we got an instru I will open this first one. This is uniquely shaped clutch, makes a great evening bag or eyeglasses case. The elegantly curved metal class creates a beautiful finished bag. <laughs> there we go. How cute is that? There's your paper string. There's your clasp. There's all your instructions and your pattern pieces, all for $14.99. Lisa Lamb, hello, thank you for the mention, John. It's the best glue in the business, she said. That's Lisa Lamb saying that, not me. That's a quote from Lisa Lamb, which I can use because I've got her book tomorrow. A bag for all reasons I've got tomorrow. At $14.99. Of course, it, it, could you type that into the graphics then? Lisa Lamb says, best glue in the business. Right, yo, let's put that away now. That's your curvy clutch. Now I've got a classic coin purse next. The clasp and the paper string is included. 12 9 again, full instructions and uh, pattern pieces all in there. You've got a fat eighth of the outside, a fat eighth of the inside, fusible fleece. You need your glue that Lisa Lamb says is the best in the business. You need to wear your stiletto shoes. Oh, no. You need a toothpick, a stiletto, or flat-headed screwdriver and pliers. You get your metal clasp, your paper string, and your pattern and your instructions. $12.99. Now, you buy somebody as a gift, you're going to make them a purse or you're going to give them the thing to make their own purse. You could put the fabric in as well. Couldn't you put your fat eighths in there with it? A little bit of fusible fleece. Hmm? No, you can't give a purse without a coin in. But then, I don't know about you, I, don't, I haven't been using real money. No, well, you see, because um, most people aren't, aren't, Dealing with money, money. Well, at uh, Starbucks, the one I go to in the morning before I come here, they don't want to take cash. $12.99. It is going to turn into a cashless society. It will. Right, so this one is your heart clasp purse. Look at that. Little clasp with the little hearts there. So again, you get the string, <clears throat> you get this lovely, it's like brushed, this one, brushed brass. Oh, a quote from me, I'm very happy, that's my five minutes of fame, she says. Listen, we can tell a lot about you, take more than five minutes, I tell you. $14.99, you get the pattern in there, now that's rather nice, that looks more structured, doesn't it? That one's got piping on it, doesn't it? $14.99. What's, what's Elliot up to now? Oh, it's not Elliot, it's you. He's muttering and you're creaking. That's And then joined together sounds... You were muttering, Elliot. He still wasn't saying anything. You were muttering to yourself. You went like... Oh, God. Right, then I've got the double clasp... Oh, look at this one. Right, I can't, couldn't quite figure that one out. I thought, why is it called a double class purse? There's just two clasps there. Look, it's got like the inner and the outer. 21st of September, this was demoed and very, very popular. Was it Catherine? Was it?
Boop. Yeah, yeah, say that, say that. So you've got that one, look, and that one. So that's the inner purse. And then that's the outer purse. Look, 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 look. There's your pattern pieces. There's your instructions. Very thorough. Look at that. For fourteen ninety-nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful. What's the matter? What's the matter? Elliot, are you right? It's a funny noise. It sounded like they had a baby elephant in there then. Oh, it was a sneeze. Okay. Now I've got the vintage... Oh, hang on. She's not ready for me. Vintage clasp wallet. I wouldn't really call it a, a wallet. I'd call that a purse. Personally, myself. Oh, do you want the number? INPU91. Oh, it's in a different section on the computer. What's the matter, Elliot, now? We need to, everyone to send lots of love to Elliot. You're not fine. Vintage class wallet kit. You again, you get the clasp, the paper string, and the paper, the, the pattern and the instructions. Twelve ninety nine. Hmm. Twelve ninety nine. I think we need to ask about that afterwards. Moving on. Right now, I've got the retro mini pierce. Don't know why I said it like that. Purse. Pierce. They're cute, aren't they? Now, I wonder if you could use it yesterday. Oh, yesterday, Hannah, we had the um the black and white line works, just the white with the row you know, with the swallows on it. You know what I mean? Like white on white and the black on black. And we had a mixed five inch and ten inch. It was brilliant. Twelve ninety nine. I'm just thinking like the polka dot. Or you could use that lovely botanicals. For earlier for that as well, that'd be nice. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Right now, these next uh, two, um, Catherine's actually made these. I've done a show with this now. In this one, it's slightly different. You get the uh, zip, and you get the inner workings of the wide mouth because it opens up like that. 17th of July, we did this. 18th of July, we did this. 14.99. Catherine made these. We'll have a picture of that somewhere, won't we, Elliot? When are we going to be able to put the pictures in um, date order, chronological order? Don't worry, don't worry, don't do it now. There you go. So you get the zip and you get the, I want to call it the mouth frame because it opens up like a wide mouth frog. You get the wireframes and the zipper in there and the instructions. $14.99. No, no. Full instructions and pattern in there as well. Well, when you want a makeup bag, you want to see what's in there, don't you, really? I use this gorgeous one that Becky Alexander Frost made for me to bring my makeup. Well, I'm not that I'm wearing makeup at the moment. You'd never know, would you? Oh, small issue. Okay, we'll stay on this for a little while. The graphics have crashed. Cool. Oh, 14.99. You get the wireframes and the zip in there. And the instructions of how to do these. And this bit. You're looking for this. A 
Are we all right to go on or not? Not yet. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? Here we go. There's one Catherine made. Thank you, Elliot. Don't want to stress you, but she's also made the next one that I'm com that's coming up. Okay, moving on. Then we have this one, cute as a button bag. Again, you in this one, you get the wire frames, you get the zip, and you also get the round things to go on the end of the zip. Look. Oh, you can't see them in there. Okay. She didn't make this on the same day. She made this on a different day earlier, if you're looking for the photo. What date? 6th of August, my mum and dad's wedding anniversary. 1952. Hmm? <laughs> so you get the mouth. Oh, no, you don't get the mouth. You get the wire frame. There it is. You get the wire frame, you get the zip, and you get those little round things look on the end of the zip. What is it? Okay. Oh, sorry, you've not seen those yet. There you go. Zip, frame, and the round things go on the end of the zips. I'm concentrating, putting that back in the bag. That's what got quiet, sorry. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. Just you, you know. Right, where would you like to go next? <sighs> Heavy duty gold snaps. There we go. These are like when you put them on the front of a denim jacket and things like that. So start kit, look, you get the tool. Look, 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 you get the tool. You need a hammer. If I had a hammer. And a bit of wood, obviously. And then you keep the tool and then you buy refills of these afterwards. There you heavy duty snap. Rust proof brass. $4.99. It's good value, isn't it? How many are in there? 12. 12. Lots of people bought these on pre-order. Oh, hang on. Uh, is the string a jute twine? No, I think it says that it's a paper, uh, paper string. It is. Look, it says here, paper string. It's all right, don't worry. Paper string. So it's not jute, it's paper. Okay. Magnetic snapping gold. No. Yes. I could no, it's because it's got a silver, it throws you a bit because it's got a silver washer. So you can only see the silver, can't you? Two ninety nine. If you missed out on them earlier during the um, Catherine's hour. All sorts of goodies on the table today, aren't there? Remember, you only pay one PMP, so you can keep adding to your order, adding to your order. If you've already bought something, think, oh, I needed that. Doesn't matter, add it to your order. Even if you've checked out or earlier, you can come in and buy something else and check out again. Just click on the continuous order or whatever it says. Uh, there's one in silver, but it's not here. Oh, here's, 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 here's Tidin. Sorry, Hannah, sorry. <laughs> 
never assume, used to be one of my sayings when I was in Colchester. Talk and sow and never assume. Well, because I used to have two fabulous team members, Jilly and Sabina, and they'd sit down to do the hand, we'd sit down and do a hand stitch on the costumes and everything, and they'd start hand stitch and they'd go, oh, you'll never guess. And they'd put it down, or Jilly would light up a cigarette and be like, and I'd go, talk and sew, talk and sew. Okay, moving on. I have indeed, which size, which colour, which way. I've got all the swivel clips in all the colours. 20 millimetre bronze. There you go. Now this is little Paul's favourite tool. Yeah, he loves that swivel clip. 149. He hasn't got a dog. £1.49. Moving on. I've got that same shape in chrome or nickel, do they call it? Nickel. And it's as if you um, make a bag, you put all these on the inside and put your keys on it. Key rings. Oh, yes, you make a lovely key ring on that one. Forty-nine. Yeah. Now I've got a uh, twenty-five millimeter. Twenty-five millimeter in nickel. This is slightly different. It's got the squared off bottom. One ninety-nine. Elliot follows somebody on Instagram, and she has forty dogs, and she makes them all individual walking leads, sunglasses cases and turbans. Okay, then I've got 25 millimetre in the brass. Oh, bronze, sorry, bronze. It's not bronze. Bronze coloured. Don't see what it's made of. They usually call them base metal, don't they, or something like that. Elliot, when were you in the Bronze Age? <laughs> okay, and then I've got a 35 millimeter one, slightly elongated shape. This is your very wide strap. Do you want the code? G E Z W O eight. I haven't got that one at the moment. I'll come back to it. When moving on. Brass triangle set here. Alloy triangle. What's that for then? Where's that go? That has a strap through it there. But then what's the circle for? I'm sorry, I just don't know. Oh, here you go. The swivel clip. Oh, the swivel clip attaches to that. Bra See, this one says brass. It says alloy here. It says brass on the, on the graphics. Oh, yeah, antique brass there. Oh, so it's alloy. They're made of alloys, are they, then? You treat it like a D-ring, says Becky. Well, I'll treat you like a D-ring. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I thought you meant you were mean to it. £2.39, this one I can hear the door going. Who's coming in this time? No, nobody. Are you having coffee? <laughs> As if the scheduling team haven't got enough to do making coffee for the crew. Okay, moving on. Which one am I going to now, Hen? Zips. 
Yeah, no, no. I've got white zips and I've got black zips. I've got 12 inch black here. These are living in loveliness ones. How many did you get in there then? Five. Five to F399. That's good value. Uh, Susan thinks they, those triangles look nicer than the D ring. There you go, see? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Now I've got ten inch in black and in white. 10 inch in black. Three forty nine. You get five zips in there, 10 inch zips. I wonder, is that is that Kerry is that Kerry's photo? Or have we done that photo? Good say. No, Hannah, we have. Oh, yes, we have. I've never noticed that before. I thought we had white brick behind us. No, there's white brick on that side. <laughs> Look. Hannah said we haven't got white brick, John. That's so in quarter. No, there's white brick that side. Right, now I've got 10 inch white. £3.49. Limited on the white. But then the brick on that wall is more distressed than the brick on this wall. Elliot, the brick on that wall over there in the kitchen is a different brick to that there. 349. Oh, of course, they're different time periods. Which was <laughs> that's Elizabethan, that's Tudor, Hannah so. Right, okay, then we've got this one here, which are eight inch. Your eight inch black. It's a planning issue. What are you talking about now? Oh, 299. Apparently that's not wallpaper over that, it's actually textured. Where am I going on to? We can never reach the wall, Elliot, because it's got so much of your rubbish in the boxes all around the building. Right, what's next? I have got Becky Alexander Frost Queenie. This one has got the paper pattern and the booklet. It's got the D-rings, the lob lobster class, the magnetic class, the 10-inch zip, the corner protector, the mini press lock, and the large press lock. $43.99 gives you all of this. Now, obviously, they're brass in the picture, and the ones you're getting are silver. They're not silver in that picture. Oh, are they? And also the zips are yellow in the picture and the zip's black in this one. What's the matter? Maybe the, the, maybe the pieces are picking up the yellow from the zip. That's why they look gold. Twenty fifth of August, that was demoed with me, I think that one. Right, okay. Then I've also got the Adventurer Backpack from Becky Alexander Frost. Here we go. So this one is um, the paper pattern booklet and pull-out pattern sheet. 41-inch zip. Is that right? A 41-inch zip. With two zip pulls, 10-inch zip, 60 inches of one-inch wide webbing two plastic strap adjusters, metal handmade tag, and two and a half inch square piece of cork fabric. $34.99. Susan says that's an amazing bag to make, the Queenie. We've got a picture of these? Oh yeah, there you go. What? Your zip colour may vary, because the one I've got here has got a purple one in it. 
And also, the other thing that may vary is that button, because you may get a metal home. Oh, no, hang on, that's not the handmade tag. Yeah, no, so what's the button then? I remember on the day it being something different. I can't remember what it was for. Oh, I know, I know, I know. See, down the bottom right of the bag, there's like a little leather tag thing. You either get the button or you get the little leather tag. 25th of August was demoed on YouTube. Well, no, it was demoed on the show, but you can now go to YouTube and find it. The button's a freebie. You don't pay for the button. I've got what? Andals. Curved and... Well, there's only one in here, though. So is that that one? Bamboo bag handle, two ninety nine. I would imagine you'd need two, wouldn't you, for a bag? Has it? Do they not fall open if you only have one handle? It was called made by Rasmus. This that's Alex's boyfriend. He's called Rasmus. He doesn't make those now. He's got a very high paid job in the city. They were banned. Were they? I don't remember them. So that's one, that's one handle, right? And then this is a smaller handle, again, by the one. The old bamboo. I like this one better as well. $2.99. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing knitting and crochet bags like that. Carol, what? $2.99. Elliot's trying to promote his own family here now. Carol from Cool Wool. She does a lot of bags with these in. She what? 2 99 Are they bamboo, Elliot? Ooh. $2.99. Okay, moving on. I've got loads of bamboo in my garage. Where are we going now then? Coin purse, brushed metal. Ooh. Is it brass? There you go. Purse clasp kit, brushed metal, oh, eight centimeters. You get are oh, you get um pattern piece in there as well. Six ninety nine. Oh, that was a deep sigh, Elliot. Oh, we can't wait for Yarn Lane today. We've got these, what are they called? Topsy Turvy dolls. I've never ever seen them before. I don't mean just here to make, I've never even seen the concept before. Okay, I've got an announcement to make now. All the blind hemmers have now sold out. The blind hemmers have now. Sold out. I've also, also, how many, can we look at the same machine? Just seeing if the same machine sold out now as well. Yeah. There are two machines available. I'll show you a picture in a minute. Two machines available. Seven people got it in their basket. Seven people got it. So five of you are going to get, if you do all try and check out, five of you will get, sorry. Only two left. Right, okay, so I'm gonna move on now. But it was the it was the blind hemmer that I was more worried about because we can't that's it now. Can't get any more of those for the time. Well, can't get any of them at all at the moment, can we? The other purse class, this is a silvery square one, yeah? Instruction and template inside. Elliot's muttering again. Right, yo. Right, I've got other purse clasps and bag clasps.
Yeah. 180 millimetres in gold. This is a sew-in one, this one. I'm not sure if I would put glue in. Well, if your Hannah's, if you're doing, gonna do, if it's Hannah sewing, I will put some glue in it. There's holes to sew it in though. Put a little um, chain on it, chain handbag on it, a um, chain strap on it. Very ornate, isn't it? It's not real gold, obviously. Four pound forty nine pence, one hundred eighty millimeter. I don't know why that picture's there because that's not that picture, is it? Oh, it might be the hemline bag logo, I suppose. Oh, it's steel. It's made of steel. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, that uh, handbags on all their um bag things. I've also got it in the black. Steel. Yep, steel. £4.39. Got lots to get through in the few minutes, haven't we? Me, I do. One of the gladiators was a stuntman, was Pierce Brosnan's stunt double. No, I didn't do the new film, did I? The films that I did. Yeah, he slid down, he's the one who slid down the um, top of the uh, Millennium Dome. Well, it will have been in 19... When did, I, when did we make? No, it would be in the uh, 1990s. Four thirty-nine, And I know Eunice as well. Still chat to Eunice, the gladiator. The Liverpudlian one. Right. This is a silver clasp. Big. No instructions, just the clasp. 13 centimetres, that one. Hmm? If you already know how to do it, this is a glue-in one, this one. Okay, and then I've got the little one. Eight centimetre. Just one PMP, remember the whole day, so you can keep checking out as many times as you like. Oh. Right, okay, now out of these, I've got sliders, cord toggles, D-rings, a different kind of slider, more D-rings, D-rings, D-rings. What would you like to do next? I'm not going to have time to do all of these. They're all on the website. They are all going on pre-order. Alloy O-rings, there you go. These are 26 millimetres. They're brand new today. Two ninety nine. you get four rings of 26 millimetres. You attach straps to bags, luggage and pet leashes. Oh, there you go, Elliot, pet leashes. He loves making things for his dog. Summer, winter, spring, autumn. His dog's called Autumn, isn't he? Yeah, they can. Awesome or autumn? Yeah, I thought so. Two ninety nine. Do you look like it? Well, no, because they say, don't they, that owners start looking like their dog. What is she? A boy or a girl? Um, <laughs> what sort of what sort of dog is she? Oh, it's a Labrador. Right next, cord toggles. 149 black cord toggles. I doubt it. A 
Remember Jan Lane in uh, about five minutes time, no, seven minutes time. Going to be making some topsy-turvy dolls. Knitted. They're brilliant. Okay, moving on. No, no. 8640 from the early bird. Don't do that now. Oh, why not? Okay, I won't do it yet then. Should you do one of these while we're waiting? Get the floor manager to deliver it. Silver slide buckles for strap width an inch. One ninety nine. Floor man just getting a bit confused. Just look at the company. Right here, one ninety-nine. Can't do anything until Hannah changes the um graphics. She's busy chatting to the floor manager. What's that? <laughs> I can hear, I can hear the door going. That was all. Come on, eight six forty, early bird from today. Now remember, we're doing a six day bag making spectacular. This is going to appear every single day. Today it's on early bird price. Crash. You've asked him that already. Seven ninety nine. Now, if you buy, if you multiply these, you get. If you buy four, you get four of those. Basically, they don't come joined together. And before I go, oh no, I'm not going anyway. Yet. Um, glue. Lisa Lamb quoting Lisa Lamb, uh, bag maker extraordinaire and international designer. Um, quote from her is, "It's the best glue in the business." That's Lisa Lamb says that. Four, four, nine, nine. Now it is solvent glue, this one. Right, shall we look at tomorrow's menu? It's me tomorrow and Hannah. Is it you, Elliot, as well? And Elliot. We've got fabrics for beautiful bags at eight o'clock. So, oh yes, yeah, some ones are sold out today. We've got them in tomorrow and they won't be sold out for tomorrow because they will have been put in tomorrow's sheets. Bag for life, essential messenger with Stuart Hillard. 10 o'clock, patterns and kits. The rainbow tote with Stuart Hillard. And oh, got Yarn Lane, of course. No, it's not. Oh, it's back again. When did it come back? No, because Hayley came in and took this out. This is the rainbow tote. Why? I know it just appeared back on its own. It's lovely, isn't it? So it's the first show Stuart and I are doing together. And do you know what? Everybody thinks we know each other. We've never actually met. We've never, ever met at all. We nearly met once and then Debbie Shaw got in between the two of us. I know. I know. Anyway, uh, so that's tomorrow's menu. Make sure you check out on everything today. Remember the um, blind hem has sold out. And there's only two of the straight stitch Yuki machine left, ha but there were eight people had it in the, or seven people had it in their basket, so please be careful. Uh, right, now we're going off to Yarn Lane now. Catherine's going to make these amazing topsy turvy dolly things, all knitted. It's, they're brilliant, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, so if you've already bought something from Sewing Street, your PP is paid for over on Yarn Lane. If you're, uh, uh, the, the products from this show don't appear on the Yarn Lane website, neither do the products from Yarn Lane appear here. So if you want to come, if you've, never, if you've never ever logged in before, it's exactly the same login details as it is for Sewing Street. But if you're watching us on the telly, stay where you are. Right? But if you're watching us on YouTube, the website, or on Facebook Live, you need to go and find the Yarn Lane equivalent. Uh, please come over because these dolls are amazing. I've never seen anything like them before. I, nobody can understand how I've never seen them before, but then I suppose I haven't got any children, have I? So it's, I'm not likely to have seen them, have I? Oh, Hannah, no. Ha no, Hannah hasn't either. 
Anyway, I will see you on Sewing Street tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock or I'll see you in about five minutes on Yarn Lane with Catherine.